from County Stadium in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Rather warm day for December in this part of the country, 40 degrees as the San Francisco 49ers meet the Green Bay Packers. Good afternoon, everyone. Tim Ryan with Tom Maddy here in Milwaukee. And uh, Tom, these Packers who finished their last two seasons with a victory, hope they can do it again today. They're 3-10. and 10. They'd like to go to 4-10. and 10. The 49ers are 5-8. and eight. You had these... Uh, Packers last week against the Chicago Bears. I had them last two weeks, Tim, and they're a much improved ball club. Barty Smith has had, been having a great year. He's finishing up strong last week against Chicago. He had 86 yards rushing. He has over 500 yards rushing for the season. He's looking to pick up the get over that 600-yard mark. We have another guy on there that's starting his 10th season, 140 games in a row, Mr. Fred Carr right the there. Iron Man. He is an Iron Man. To play that much football, you've got to be a pretty tough ball player. 49ers had their best offensive display, but in a losing cause against Dallas on Monday night. Jim Plunkett, been bothered by ribs all season long, but he looked real loose on Monday night, threw for four touchdowns, better than 200 yards passing, and that match in touchdowns, his best day ever in the National Football League. Another guy who had a big day was on the receiving end. Gene Washington caught five for 130 yards and a touchdown. And for Washington, a man who hasn't seen a whole lot of pass-catching action this year, that was a big night, and I know that uh, that will be a tough combination for the Packers to deal with today but one thing about Green Bay they're fourth in the conference in terms of uh, the points given up just about 15 points a game they they've sure. got a tough secondary they do they got a great secondary Dick LeBeau the coach has done a great job and here's a flip of the coin right down there right now all right as we look at the officials our referee today is Fred Wyatt the umpire is Tom Hensley the head linesman Leo Miles the line judge Don Orr the back judge Jimmy Rosser and the field judge is Fred swearing it 49ers have won the toss and elected to receive they were a little bit late arriving on the field. Uh, Packer fans thought maybe they were going to get themselves a default today. <laughs> that didn't happen. They did show up. They're hurting. The 49ers have got some starters out today. Steve Lawson, their starting left guard, will be replaced by John Ayers. They've got some uh, problems in the secondary. Tony Leonard out with a kidney injury suffered Monday night. Eddie Lewis will go there. Stan Black will start for Ralph McGill, who suffered a knee injury. And a tight end offensively, Tom Mitchell, your old teammate from Baltimore days, he's out of action with a knee sprain, and Paul Seal will get the start there. Hackers have had some injury problems, too. Mark Conkar is out of action. Rookie Greg Cook will start at left tackle for him. And defensively, uh, Dave Purifoy out with leg muscle problem and a knee as well. And it'll be Clarence Williams, the veteran, going in his spot. So both these teams have had injury problems all season long. And the pack, of course, still without uh, Lynn Dickey gone for the year uh, with a broken leg uh, suffered in the Rams game. And it's been David Whiters going at quarterback since that time. Here is Chester Marco ready to kick off for Green Bay. The Packers will kick off the defend to our left in their home green uniforms. The 49ers to our right in white. We're just about set to go. The 49ers are 5 and 8. The Packers are 3 and 10. Last week they lost to the Bears 21 to 10, while the 49ers are losing to Dallas 42 to 35. A short kickoff taken at about the 13 yard line. It looks like Bobby Farrell. And uh, he slips and slides out near the 20 yard line, and that's about all. No, it was number 30. Returning it uh, for the San Francisco 49ers. And it'll be first down for the 49ers at their own 20. Jim Plunkett will bring out Wilbur Jackson along with Delvin Williams and the wide receivers, Washington and Harrison with Paul Seal starting at tight end. And there is the offensive line. You see John Ayers starting for the injured Lawson at left guard. First down, San Francisco. Wilbur Jackson, the first man straight ahead is met right at the line of scrimmage and swarmed under. He maybe got a half yard on the play as the middle of that line stacked him up, and there is that line. Butler and Bob Barber at the end, Dave Roller, Clarence Williams starting for the injured day, pure forward right tackle. The linebackers are Toner, Carter, and Ironman Fred Carr. Secondary, a tough young secondary, as we mentioned. Willie Buchanan, Mike McCoy in the corner, Steve Luke and Johnny Gray are the safeties. McCoy bothered with a little turf toe but uh, out there in action at the right corner, number 29. Second and nine for the 49ers as we're just underway here in Milwaukee. High formation, pitch shot, Delvin Williams. Williams is stopped by the middle linebacker. That is Jim Carter, number 50, the first man to hit him. Here's a great shot of the defense in pursuit coming across. Plunkett gets a snap, pitches it out. You can see the roller coming right along the line of scrimmage. Carter coming up, filling the middle of the hole right there. That's the job of the middle linebacker, Tim. He did a great pursuit job, 
He had the speed, the lateral movement, filled the hole good. For you Dave Williams fan, the rookie from Colorado was number 30. He'll return that opening kickoff. We're a little late identifying him. Our apologies to Dave and his family. It is third and nine, puck at the throw. And it's intercepted. It is Willie Buchanan, number 28, getting back to the 32-yard line before he stopped by Wilbur Jackson. And that ball was thrown right to him. I mean to tell you, there's got to be a mistake on that pass pattern. Or Plunkett just laid it out like a lame duck here. He sets up. He's got the protection. A little bit of pressure on him. The ball is just thrown out. Buchanan is there waiting for it to go in. Look how he looks that ball right into his hands. There's a happy defensive secondary. They had that zone flooded. The nearest man was Paul Seal, number 85, but the ball was well over his head and nowhere near the deep receiver. So Buchanan had one handed right to him. It's first down, Green Bay. An early turnover by San Francisco. Willard Harrell, number 40, is stopped behind the line and dropped for a loss of about a uh, yard on the play. David Whitehurst is the quarterback with Willard Harrell, number 40, and Barty Smith, number 33, the running backs. The wide receivers are Steve Odom, 84, and Ollie Smith, 89, with Rich McGeorge, the tight end. Across the front, Greg Cook starting for the injured Mark Conkar tackle, Dennis Hobbig, Larry McCarron, Mel Jackson, and Dick Hines. It is second, and we call it a loss of two, second and 12. And they got a double tight end situation in here. Two tight ends and on one side here. Burt asks in number 88, and he's in the pattern. A short pass for Smith coming out of the backfield. Bruce Healy misses him. Gets inside the 20 near the 15 yard line. That was a great play. And taking another look at it, this is where Whitehurst fakes in. You can see Barty Smith hold up right here. He just waits for the halfback to clear the area out. Whitehurst just lays him out, and it's a one on one on the linebacker right here. And Barty's got the strength and the speed to get to the outside, and Elia misses him right there. Barty, big back. He's 6'4", about 240. He's a 19-yard gain, Tom, and the 49ers have themselves in a hole here as Green Bay threatening following the interception by Buchanan. First down at the 17-yard line. Smith behind left guard Dennis Hobbig and center Larry McCarron. Cleveland Elam, number 72, the first man to get him, but he picked up three, maybe four on the play. One of the real good front fours in football, 53 Tommy Hart, 86 Cedric Hardman at the end. Webb and Cleveland Elam are the tackles. The linebackers, Skip Vanderbunt, Bruce Elia, and Willie Harper playing in the injured uh, Dave Washington spot. The secondary is hurting. Eddie Lewis starting for Tony Leonard, Stan Black, Bruce Taylor, and Mel Phillips. Taylor on the far corner, the right corner, and uh, Black starting for the injured Ralph McGill. Second and six. Busted play, Whiters pitches to Harrell. Harrell is knocked out of bounds by Stan Black, number 26. And I said busted play. It might have been the option that we have seen Whiters run before. And that's uh, what it looked like, because Whiters has run this before. Uh, you know, we don't see this in the pros very often. This looks like my quarterback days at Ohio State. You're running down the line. You got the option, a linebacker and a halfbacker up there. Harrell turns the corner. He's got the speed. And he gets the first out. Oh, he's not a little short of the first It'll start. be third and about two and a half to go. I got to figure that Smith should have come a little tighter, though, for a fake right. on that handout. Yeah, I think so, too. So we'll say we were a half right going. <laughs> it was a half busted play. A half busted. Third down, Whitehurst to throw. Intended for Smith, nicely broken up by Vanderbilt, number 52, the left linebacker, getting a hand in front of Smith. And that'll bring up fourth down. So the Packers unable to come up with a major score following the turnover. Watch a great defensive play here by the linebacker, Skip Vanderbilt. He comes right in front as, as Whitehurst delivers the ball here. You'll see the hand come right in with no pass interference. A little blurry, but good coverage. Very good coverage. It'll be By our cameraman, too. Wasn't bad. Bad. Well done. It'll be our field goal try from the 17-yard uh, line. Beverly holding for Chester Marco. Marco has it up and nailed. And the Green Bay Packers jump into the lead here. Early in the first quarter, with 11:15 remaining, the Green Bay Packers on a Chester Marco field goal lead the 49ers three to nothing.
This Christmas card was sent to you by the people at Miller High Life. Merry Christmas. Introducing the Ford in your future. The new Ford Fairmont Wagon. A new wagon designed for today and the years ahead. The Fairmont Wagon has excellent mileage ratings, but while it is trim and lean outside, Fairmont has almost 90% of the passenger space of most large wagons, and with a seat down can swallow up all this cargo. Yet for all this, the new Fairmont Wagon, as shown, is actually sticker price less than this little VW Rabbit. Test drive Fairmont. The newest better idea from the Wagon Master. This telecast presented by authority of the National Football League intended for the private use of our audience, any rebroadcast or other use of the telecast without the express written consent of the Green Bay Packers and the National Football League is prohibited. Now Chester Marco gets to kick the ball again. Third time he's done so here early in this football game. His second kickoff and the field goal that has the pack in front three to nothing. Paul Hofer, number 36 for the 49ers, gets it out to the 25-yard line. He's met there by Steve Luke and Bert Askson. It'll be first down, 49ers once again, this time starting from their own 25-yard line. Chester Mark Gold field goal has the Green Bay Packers on top, three to nothing. Tim Ryan and Tom Matty here at County Stadium in Milwaukee. 49ers last year were 8-6. The Packers finished at 5-9 and nine last year. Neither team will match those records, regardless of what happens here today. Play action. Bucket on first down. A loose roller. Open, wide open as Harrison drops the ball. Kenny Harrison, number 83, wide open and could not hold on. Second down. I'll tell you, here's a here's great fake. Not only that, but Plunkett does a great job avoiding Roller right there. Roller slips. Plunkett hasn't got time to set up. He throws it a little behind Harrison. But whenever a receiver gets his hands on the ball, Tim, you know, you're getting paid to catch it. Catch it. No doubt he should have had that one. Second down. Wide left comes Gene Washington, number 18. Eye formation. Williams and Jackson, the running backs. Bill Williams comes into the game with 885 yards rushing. Plunkett slips and he's sacked. Plunkett is sacked by Dave Roller, and the colorful one <laughs> bounces up there and shakes a fist to his fans in the end zone. But uh, David uh, shouldn't be hollering too much because Plunkett slipped here more than uh, David catching up with him. <laughs> oh, boy. Nonetheless, he was in there and got the job done, a seven-yard loss. It'll be third down, 17 to go for the San Francisco 49ers. Okay. Defensive backs in for Green Bay in this passing situation. Bob Barber is offside as Williams gets the call. Williams gets out over the 25 to the 27 yard line. He's hit there by Steve Luke, number 46, but uh, they're well short of the first down, even with the penalty. And there is our uh, crew hard at work in the mobile unit. Those are the guys that uh, really do the job. We just sit here and enjoy the game, and they're all watching it from several monitors, you, as you can see, and our director, Jim Silman, producer Bob Rowe, associate producer Joan Vitrano, all of our fine technical crew getting it on for you. And we'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas from us up here and down on the truck. Right. All side, number 70, defense. Third down. Bob Barber is offside. You heard referee Fred Wyant, number 75, and that's what it looks like to our people in the truck. Third and... 12 to go on that five-yard penalty. In the middle open is Washington, and Washington has a first down for San Francisco at the 47-yard line. Here's Plunkett setting up right now. He's dropping back. You can see the rusher roller taking the outside charge, coming in, good pass protection. Plunkett has all the time. Here's our feature man at the beginning of the program right here, Mr. Washington. He saw what he's going to get hit there. He ducked his head but held on to that football. Great reception. Washington's 27th catch of the season. He averaged 20.8 yards per pass coming in. Not a whole lot of pass catches for a receiver like Washington this year. It's dumped out to Delvin Williams. Williams slips, but he has the first down yardage into Green Bay territory at the 43-yard line. Tom Toner, number 59, put the tackle on him. 
You know, we have a couple big games around the league at halftime. Chicago and the Giants are tied three to three. And we also have another game in Houston, Cincinnati, and Cincinnati is getting beat by Houston 13 to six. Uh, Pastorini had a 17 yard pass to White Shoes, Billy Johnson. All right, Cincinnati has to win that game. If they win it, they're in the playoffs as the champions of the Central Division in the AFC. Bears have to win. They want to get in. They've got to beat those Giants today as Minnesota won last night. The Bears must win today. If they do, they'll be in. And the Giants, a tough defensive team playing in what we understand are very bad weather conditions in New York today. Rain and sleet, 30 degree temperatures. First down for the 49ers as they're on the move. Wide right goes Washington. Wide left comes Kenny Harrison. Williams and Jackson. They'll come out on that eye and most times will shift to the split back. Williams. Number 24 and Jim Carter, number 50, along with Steve Luke, that top safety comes up and gets in on everything. He's got 87 tackles coming into the game, Steve Luke, the third year man from Ohio State. The name that school again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have underlined that. Ohio, Ohio State, State, Tom Maddy's old alma mater. By the way, you know, in that game up there with the Giants, uh, Walter Payton was going for that 2,000 yard mark. Right, to, right now, and he has seven carries for minus five yards, Isn't so that, that giant incredible? defense must be doing something right. Minus five yards for Walter Payton. He's only carried seven times. <laughs> Pass out for Jackson on the screen. Gets one good block, but Luke is there again, and Luke stops him short of the first down. It'll bring up a third down. He gained maybe four on the play. And I think Jackson got a real shoulder injury on that because Luke came up and really stuck him. Boy, he's a hitter. Luke and Gray, we've talked about them a lot on the telecast we've had Green Bay because they get in on the action. Johnny Gray, 106 solo tackles coming into the game. And Luke, as we said, with 87. They just like to get where the ball is. So Jackson, the injured 49er. They've had uh, their injury problems. As we mentioned at the beginning of our telecast, Ralph McGill, Tom Mitchell, Dave Washington, Kaz Banaszek, their number one pick, Elmo Boyd, and Steve Lawson all out with injuries. We'll be back in just a moment. Green Bay leads it three to nothing. How much should you expect from a great camera? Polaroid's SX-70 lets you shoot automatically, very close, or very far away. In lots of light, or hardly any. Shoot every second and a half. And have beautiful pictures in minutes. No other camera in the world does it all. The SX-70 Alpha One. To make it in this business, you gotta stay one step ahead of everybody else. So I've got something nobody else has. Sunoco's penny pinching pump. It could save you money on quality gas. Like my 190, the gas that's made to sell below my regular. And most cars that run on regular can use it. Hey, if I don't want you to pass me by, I gotta give you a price you can't pass up. Sunoco's penny pinching pump can fill up your tank for less. That's my way of being very friendly. All right, the San Francisco 49ers have Bobby Farrell in replacing Wilbur Jackson, who left after a real good pop from Steve Luke. It is third and four. 49ers driving inside the 40-yard line of Green Bay. Hack leads it three to nothing. We've got 8.07 remaining here, first period. Delvin Williams tripped over one of his blockers, falls what appears to be short of the first down. Jim Carter, number 50, the linebacker, finished him off, and we'll wait and see where they mark it. It does appear to be about a yard short. We'll call it a gain of two. And a probable fourth down coming up. And I think they're going to go for it. At the end of the season, nothing to lose. Let's go for the first down. Jim Obradovich comes in, number 89, replacing Washington to give them a double tight end situation with Paul Seal. Remember, Tom Mitchell, the normally starting tight end, is out with an injured knee. Williams and Farrell are the running backs. Farrell is the lead back, number 38. Now they move into the split backs. It is Farrell going to the weak side and... Looks like he has the first down. Good play by the 49ers. Had everybody stacked up on the left and went to the right. You can see the back leading. He takes a jab step the other way to get that middle linebacker going the other way. He trips there, but he still does get the first down. Good running. We got some updates on some scores here. Here's St. Louis. Can you believe this? Tampa Bay is beating him 14 to 7. 
How about that? Jeez. I can believe that if you just look at the last two games. Yeah. St. Louis seems to be really down mentally. And, of course, Tampa Bay's got to be up. They finally know what a win feels like. <laughs> First down, San Francisco. High formation, Williams and Farrell. Play action. Lots of time. Intended for Seal off his hand. Nearly intercepted by Gray, but it is incomplete. Paul Seal got a hand on it. The pass a little high. It'll be second down, San Francisco. I'll tell you, that defensive secondary for Green Bay really works as a unit. They're really trying back there. They like to hit the people. You got another score, too, Atlanta, New Orleans. Atlanta's beating New Orleans 14 to 7. First quarter. Jim Plunkett has thrown six passes already, Tom. He's three for six and 39 yards. It is second and 10. The 49ers trying to keep this drive going. Farrell still in for Wilbur Jackson. Draw play. Farrell. Bobby Farrell breaks through two tacklers. Works his way into the 25-yard line before Johnny Gray, number 24, finally stops him. Here's Harold filling in for Jackson right now. It's just a good old short draw. Let the guys come by. Keeps his balance there. It's a little muddy out there, and it's good hard running by Farrell here. He keeps his legs moving, but that secondary again comes up and makes the tackle. Got to have some people on the line making the tackle. Third and four. Farrell, a second-year man from UCLA, played in the World Football League, picked up as a free agent a year ago. 24 years of age. Delvin Williams behind Farrell's block. Good block, too. And he's pulled down by Butler, number 77, the rookie defensive end. Got a hold of his jersey, but he has a first down. And the 49ers keep it going. They're at the 20-yard line of Green Bay now. You know, Plunkett's doing a good job right here. He's mixing his plays. He's passing. Watch the blocking coming around here. Farrell is a good one. Williams is picking his blocks, following him. You could... You know, when you're running back, you have to use that speed only once you get past that line of scrimmage. You've got to follow those blockers, then you can put it on. And he followed his blocking very well that time. Another Niner first down at the 20. Bucket will throw. He's got Washington open. He's covered by Buchanan and brought down after a gain of maybe eight on the play. Sideliner to Gene Washington, and he just kind of flared out of there, and they got the ball to him before he made the turn. You know, Tim, talking, about Gene, talking about Gene Washington... Here's, here's the pass again to him. Plunkett again slips. You can see him throwing off his back foot. It's really hard, tough footing out there. But this guy is not only a great receiver, but he's one of the real class guys in the National Football League. Sure we had a chance to talk with him this morning before coming to the game. and you know, He's a real competitor. He's out here to win. This is our last game. Nothing right on it, but he wants it. Williams and Farrell still a running back. Wilbur Jackson injured on this series. Farrell hit by Johnny Gray. Battling, trying to get first down, and let's see where they mark it. Good work by Farrell, who shows a lot of power. He's six feet, 219 pounds. Johnny Gray had a hold on him, but Gray's only 5'11", 185, and it may be that uh, he wasn't able to stop him from the first down. They gonna measure? No, it'll be just short. Third, and let's call it about six inches. Bring in the other tight end, probably, in this situation. Short yardage, just get that first down. Bradovich and Seal both be in there. Jim Bradovich, number 89. Plunkett going for it. And he's got it. It's signaled on the sidelines. First down, San Francisco. And they've been grinding it out here, Tom. It's they been an sure impressive have. drive. Here you can hear him calling the signals right there. And when you have this kind of a short yardage situation, the best thing is to do not to hand that thing off. Just fall forward. All you need is about three inches to get the first down, and he got it for him. Gene Barrett, number 77, uh, was the man who led the charge for him uh, on the blocking assignment. 50-year man from Tulsa. It is first down for the San Francisco 49ers, and they're at the nine-yard line, threatening here as they trail 3-0. Time moving along in the first period. 3.54 to play. Receivers covered. Plunkett runs into his own man trying to scramble. He ran into Keith Bonhorst, and that gave Bob Barber, number 70, the chance to put the tackle on him. It was great defensive coverage by the Green Bay Packers there. He got maybe a yard with his scramble. And we have a Packer down, and the trainer's coming on the field. 
looks like a hand or wrist injury. And it is Bob Barber who made the tackle on Big Jim Plunkett. So we have 3.31 remaining here in the first period. The Packers scored off a turnover, a field goal by Chester Markle, and they lead 3 to nothing. Good. Now we can go to bed. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I want to give you a gift while we're alone. Uh, it's uh, something just for you. The washer and dryer. Now, come on, will you be serious? Okay. Now, close your eyes. Merry Christmas. Give her a diamond. It's forever. It's no joke when a meeting runs late and you've got to catch a plane. And if Hertz, the superstar in rent a car, hadn't invented express check-in, you just might be waiting in line at some rent a car counter while your plane is taking off. It takes a superstar to come up with time-saving ideas like express check-in. Next trip, you might need it too. So rent a Ford or other fine car from Hertz. A superstar in rent a car. That's right. It's group encounters at the funniest kind when Sislik attempts to restore harmony to the community center. This community center is full of crazy people. Wednesday night, right after Good Times. Well, a big Christmas weekend coming up for you here on CBS. A sports spectacular Saturday, NBA basketball, regional action on Sunday in the Fiesta Bowl. That's Christmas Day. And then on Monday, the NFL playoff doubleheader. Games coming to you from Dallas and Los Angeles. First down. Intended for Washington, touchdown! Gene Washington just went straight ahead and beat Mike McCoy. A perfect throw from Jim Plunkett, and the 49ers go in front. I'll tell you, on a ground level action camera right here, you can see what exactly happened. Plunkett just drops straight back, backpedals straight, just lays it right to the corner, lets Washington beat his man. Watch Gene look that ball into his hands, tucks it in, and gives a little drop behind the back. Six so it is six to three, and Ray Wershing is in to attempt the point after. He's got it. And the San Francisco 49ers with a very impressive drive, grinding it out, using up the clock, and we now have just 3.07 remaining. 16 plays, 75 yards, and the 49ers lead it seven to three. Raggedy Ann, the storybook friend of generations of children. Now she stars with Raggedy Andy in a delightful new family movie from Bob's Merrill, the publishing people of ITT. ITT's Raggedy Ann and Andy, a storybook brought to life at some very lucky local theater. Be friends with a dolly like you. He's a cop and she's a girl who's been around. But it looks like someone doesn't want him to make it. The word is out to stop them. The odds are 100 to 1. They won't get through, but there's no way they're going to give up. Clint Eastwood, The Gauntlet, rated R. Opening this week everywhere. Seventy-five yards and 16 plays, and the key statistic there, eight minutes used up on the clock as the 49ers ground it out and lead it seven to three. Wershing slipped on his kickoff and it's short. Taken at the 26 yard line by Steve Wagner and he gets out to about the 34 yard line. So they have a good start there for the Green Bay Packers. He's stopped by Johnny Miller number 66. Well, on the CBS Sports Spectacular, we've got some real entertainment for you with World Professional Skateboard Speed Championships. That's next Saturday at 4.30 Eastern Time. And they will uh, provide some interesting competition in the giant slalom, the standing board, and the skate car categories. And that should be a real thrilling show, along with the European Figure Skating Championship next Saturday, 4.30 Eastern Time. Willard Harrell finds oh. a hole and picks up about six yards on the play, squeezing through behind the blocking of Dennis Havig and the rookie Greg Cook, number 68. I'll tell you, he knifed right through there. Very nice. Mel Phillips can, made the tackle. You can see the handoff by Whitehurst right here as Harrell comes straight across, straight on blocking, Barty Smith leading up in the hole, 
He picks it, he sees it to the outside. It's good hard running. That's good pickup. That's a good first down. Greg Cook, number 68, you saw in the middle of that blocking pattern, the rookie from Arkansas, their second round pick, getting a start ahead of Mark Conkar, who's just a second year man from Colorado out with a knee injury, and that is Harold down. I'll tell you one thing, they're having their injuries. Bob Barber is out for the game now. He's got a broken wrist, it looks like, and he'll be out of the game for the rest. He's out for the season now. I'd say gone. he's gone for the year. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tommy. <laughs> Ezra Johnson, number 78, will play for Barber. Now, the interesting thing here is that Nate Simpson, who would normally be in here to replace Harrell, is bothered with an ankle injury. They don't want to use him today if they can avoid it. So they're bringing in number 34, another rookie, as uh, Simpson is. Turdell Middleton from Memphis State, their third-round choice, 6 feet, 195-pounder. 22 years of age, and Middleton got some action earlier in the season, but has not played much the last several games. Simpson seemed to move ahead of him in the rookie running back department. Plot formation right, Barty Smith straight ahead on second and four. Got a couple. Cleveland Elam, the right defensive tackle, number 72, put the stop on him. You know, three weeks ago, the, uh, the Packers went to what they call the uh, slot formations where they're putting both the backs in between the guards and the tackle, which is a little cl closer to the uh, to the quarterback. And they're using a lot of the slants and a lot of the dives like the old college T formation. And it's been effective for them. These guys have had a better running game. They've averaged over 150 yards a game rushing in the last couple weeks, so they've been doing a pretty good job with it. Burt Askson is in as the second tight end here in third and short. We'll call it about a yard and a half. Trying to get outside is Middleton, slipping and crawling, trying to get first down. Did he get it? It's going to be close. Well, he marked the ball right where Turdell put it, put it down, which was nice <laughs> for Turdell <laughs> and the backers. And I think that's going to give him a first down. I think he did a little with the crawling. <laughs> he could see exactly where that <laughs> marker was because he was right in front of it. And he got the first down. Good work, Turdell. <laughs> so the Packers come out of their own zone to the 45-yard line. San Francisco leads it 7-3 on a Plunkett to Gene Washington nine-yard touchdown pass. After Chester Markle had opened the scoring for Green Bay. Tim Ryan and Tom Maddy here at County Stadium in Milwaukee. Normally we would be shivering up here this time of year, 18th of December, but it's really quite mild. 40 degrees and only going as low as 35 this afternoon. Whitehurst on first down. Screen pass. Marty Smith. Blockers in front of him. Hit by Skip Vanderbunt. All the way inside the 35-yard line. A San Francisco first down at the 34. I tell you, this is a great call. You can see Whitehurst setting up. You can see the defensive front four coming straight through. Good pass. Barty Smith picks it up, follows his blocking again. Good blocking. Makes a cut to the outside right there. Puts his head down and runs over Vanderbunt. 21-yard gain for Barty Smith. All right, watch Hartman right here. Look at this. Gets a good cut block right there. That's the key, because he can get his hands up to break up that pass on the screen. Greg Cook doing the job on him. Number 68, the rookie, playing for the injured Mark Conkar. First down pass, middle and wide open. Hit at the 10, the ball fumbled, but out of bounds. So the pack will have another first down inside the 10-yard line of the San Francisco 49ers. All right. Stan Black on the coverage, along with Eddie Lewis, the quarterback number 22. Vanderbunt was the guy who pushed him out. <laughs> Mr. Whitehurst just laid that ball up perfect, and it was a spiral. Look at that. <laughs> Got to hold on to it, though, babe. A 26-yard gain for another Packer first down, and both these quarterbacks going to the air and going successfully. Willard Harrell's injury report, a sprained right knee, and it's uh, doubtful whether he'll be back. Eric Torkelson, number 26, is now in with Barty Smith and running back. Seven seconds remaining in the quarter. A first down for the pack. The eight-yard line of San Francisco. Play action. Whitehurst, wide open. Oh, and Rich McCord, oh, touchdown. Good play by the Packers. They brought McGeorge over from the right side. They had one-on-one -on -one coverage against Bruce Gilea. And the George was wide open. I tell you, the, the thing that they did is they had the flow action all to the right. Everybody went to the right, and the George comes straight across. He sets up. Looks like he's going to block right here. He fires in. 
He sneaks out. You can watch number 81 on the bottom of your screen. You'll see him come right there, wide open. A great call. Chester Marco will attempt the point after. David Beverly will hold. And it's good. No, oh, it hits the post. Hits the post. And comes bouncing back out. I thought from his trajectory, he had that thing well inside. But it hit the post, and uh, that point could turn out to be interesting, the way these teams are marching up and down the field. And so the Green Bay Packers with a second left on the clock here in the first period get an eight-yard touchdown pass, Whiters to Rich McGeorge, and they go in front by a score of 9-7. to seven. You know, if we get a chance to see that play again, you'll see why McGeorge had the opportunity to be wide open. You say, well, how could he be? Well, what happens is when he blocks down to the inside, that releases that defensive back, and he is picked up by the middle linebacker. So he looks like he's cracking down there on a block, and he just slid across underneath everybody and came wide open on the play, Tim. That's a good call. They practice that. That's your short yardage situation. Chester Marco was 10 out of 12 in points after coming into the game. He's now 10 out of 13. For Rich McGeorge, his 15th catch of the season and his first touchdown. They went 65 yards in six plays as David Whitehurst uh, moved him very effectively. They used up 306 and they lead it by 29 to 7. Chester Marco will kick it off for Green Bay. He's been a busy man so far in this first period. This is a good kickoff taken by Hofer at the five yard line, number 36. Hofer, good return over the 30 to about the 33. And stopped by number 31, the rookie, Jim Culbreth. And that will finish up this first period at County Stadium in Milwaukee. And we've got a wide open football game underway. Green Bay leads it nine to seven. All over America, women are turning to men who use Vitalis. We Easterners don't turn for just anybody. Heads are turning to Vitalis. When a Midwestern girl turns, she means it. Heads are turning down south. A nice girl would never turn. Women are turning to men with shorter hair. That's why more men are turning to Vitalis for that clean together younger look. In California, we just turn. Heads are turning. <laughs> Ford introduces the new Futura. A dramatic combination of styling and technology from 1978 and beyond. Futura. Its striking design is the result of computer modeling and extensive aerodynamic testing. Its excellent fuel economy results in part from the use of high-strength, low-alloy metals in Futura's construction. And Futura's ride is the result of a newly created advanced front suspension system. Futura. In a world where cars are looking more and more alike, it represents a change. A dramatic combination of styling and technology from 1978 and beyond. Realistically priced for today. See your Ford dealer for a personal test drive. Well, coming up on CBS Sunday Day, uh, Sunday uh, Christmas Day, December 25th, NBA basketball with the Buffalo Braves and the Cleveland Cavaliers. 12:30 Eastern Time. Remember the Fiesta Bowl will follow that. We'll Tom, be there. Tom and Lindsey Nelson now be down in Tempe, Arizona. Big day, Christmas Day on. CBS. Delvin Williams. About a nine yard gain straight ahead. Johnny Gray, the safety, had to make the tackle. And Woody Peoples and Keith Bonhorst really opened a hole for him. <laughs> He's got to be a hurdler in college. Watch this. Del Williams is going for that thousand yard mark today. He needs a little over 100 yards. There he goes. Takes a step right over top. And he gets stuck right here. Good hole and uh, good jumping by Delvin Williams. That was over Randy Cross, the center number 51. Second and about a yard and a half. 49ers, Wilbur Jackson is back in there, gets the first down yardage. Jackson went out early in the period with an injury, but uh, after that tough shot by Steve Luke, but he's apparently okay because he's running hard again. Roller and Jim Carter made the tackle. First down, 49ers at their own 45-yard line. Williams got 20 yards right now, and he needed 115 to get to the 1,000-yard mark, which will be two years in a row for him. 
Ofer's 28-yard kickoff return gave San Francisco good field position to start this drive. We are just underway in the second period. Tim Ryan and Tom Maddy at County Stadium in Milwaukee. Williams again slips this time as he's trying to make the turn. And Jim Carter, number 50, buries them there after a gain of maybe a yard on the play. You can see it's a little greasy, particularly in the center of that field, Tom. Yeah, this is this is my kind of field, Tom. <laughs> you were it a good mutter, huh? I was a good mutter. It brought everybody down to my speed, so you slow. <laughs> Second and nine for Delvin Williams. Be interesting to see if uh, if they give him the ball uh, an extra amount today to try and get him that thousand. Bill Thomas said emphatically before the game, the general manager of the 49ers, we're playing this game to win. We're using all the able bodies we got to win. Look at the throw for Seal. Has he got it? Yes, yes sir. he has. Good catch by Paul Seal. Number 85, the former New Orleans Saint, has a first down at the 40-yard line of Green Bay. You know, here, here's, a, here's a play again with Plunkett setting up. It's a quick dive fake right there. Plunkett sets up. It's good defensive coverage right here. The back is right there. Steve he, Luke. He lays the ball right low. Seal tucks it away, looks the ball in, catches the ball, gets a first down. Good call. Plunkett had pressure from number 77, the rookie from Kansas, Mike Butler. It is first down, 49ers. Both these teams are moving the ball at will, which is providing some entertainment between a 3-10 and 5-8 and and <laughs> pair of teams here this afternoon, our final CBS regular season telecast. Look it under pressure to Jackson. What a good catch. He juggled it, trying to see where uh, the tacklers were and managed to get a hold of that ball as uh, Plunkett came to him in desperation as a safety valve man. It'll be second and six after a gain of four. Dave Roller and Tom Toner. 74 and 59 on the tackle. Looked like he was had an individual pattern going to Kenny Harrison on the outside up there. And the defensive back came up and paid a bump and run situation where Plunkett just couldn't lay the ball out to him, so he had to almost eat it, and he dumped it off to the halfback, which is good. Ball at the 36-yard line of Green Bay as the 49ers continue to march. Wide right is Washington, wide left is Harrison. Out of the eye, Delvin Williams, and a good defensive play by Butler, number 77, getting in there underneath to get an arm on him and trip him up. And then he's dropped by Toner and Carter. A little help from Johnny Gray. Gray and Luke will come up on every play. They want to get a piece of that action. Boy, I really like those two safety men. There's my uh, my brother right there, Mr. Bill Curry, the offensive line coach for the Green Bay Packers, one of my real friends. Play with the Colts, play with the Green Bay, played out in L.A., played down in Houston. He's been all over, and he's a line coach here at Green Bay. Third down after a gain of about a yard. It's third and five. Plunkett under pressure. Still gets it away. Complete to Jackson. What a play oh. by Plunkett. First down inside the 15-yard line. Plunkett had two tacklers all over him and somehow managed to just push that ball out to Jackson. They got great defensive pressure right here by the rush. You can see Plunkett moving up inside, and he just dumps that ball off. He is really... Those root ribs can't be hurting him too bad if he got a shot like that. He gets a first down. Keeps that drive moving. They had a good rush from Ezra Johnson and Mike Butler and Dave Roller. And uh, Plunkett had to make a real fine play and a good catch by Wilbur Jackson. First down. 21-yard pickup on that one. They're at the 15-yard line of Green Bay. Packers lead it 9-7. to seven. Williams, the ball stripped, but he covers it. That was Mike Butler. Breaking in there, number 77, stripping the ball from Williams, and Delvin uh, very alertly and fortunately got a good bounce. He was able to cover the ball. You know, speaking of Butler, he's a rookie. He's 6'5", 265, and he has 4'7 speed in F40. They've got a they've got a pretty nice front four, a young front four up there. Another young rookie that's not in there right now is Ezra Johnson. He's 6'4", 240, can run a 40 at 4'5". You know, it's embarrassing when these big guys can bring it up from behind. Oh, that's yeah. incredible. There are a couple of good athletes. Johnson is in there now, Tom, for the injured Bob Barber. He's out with that wrist for the game. So we'll watch both those rookies. Second and 19, the ball back in the 22. Good protection this time. Deep for Washington. Out of the end zone. Washington out of the end zone by about a half a stride. And he's there asking the official who was right on top of the play. Johnny Gray on the coverage, and Gene said, was I really? <laughs> what a super pass, though, right on the money. And Mr. Washington made a great great catch on it. He does a down and in pattern. It's just a down takeoff. You can see the individual coverage. It's an in and out situation. You can see Gene looking back at the ball. Defensive back coming in. 
And you can see where his feet hit. The oh one boy. foot is out. One foot was just out. And I mean just out. Great camera coverage, gentlemen. I like that kind of. It is third and 19. And Plunkett throwing that ball so well again today, except for that very first pass, which was an interception. It may have been a broken pattern for all we know. Williams out of the backfield. Williams is hit at the 12 yard line. It'll bring up a fourth down as he gained about 10 yards on the play and it'll leave them fourth and about eight to go, maybe nine. There's that coach, Mr. Meyer. Ken Meyer. Well, I guess there's still speculation about whether Ken will be back next year, uh, his first year coaching after the Monty Clark situation out there and his team currently five and eight. And Joe Thomas, all he will say so far is that the entire situation will be assessed once the season is over. And I think that means a change in personnel. <laughs> Wershing falls and misses on the field goal try. Ray Wershing's field goal try from the 19-yard line is wide as he lost his balance approaching the ball. And you can see right here how he slips right as he hits the ball right there. His foot slides out from under him, and it throws it off to the right, and it's wide to the right. Well, the 49ers have a real good drive going, but it winds up with zip, and Green Bay continues to lead 9 to 7, 8.47 remaining in the half. From blazing heat to paralyzing cold, season after season, the J.C. Penney battery has more power to start your car more dependably than any other car battery you can buy. And it never needs water. In fact, it's so dependable, it's warranted for as long as you own your car. If it ever fails to hold a charge, return it. We'll replace it, free. Only at J.C. Penney Auto Centers or Catalog Desks. It's the last battery your car will ever need. Up here, the wind can turn an entire ski slope into one big snowdrift. But you're going to take the mountain away from the storm and give it back to the skiers. Now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. America's quality beer, Miller High Life. If you got the time, if you got the time, we got the beer. Miller beer. Well, if you like Tom Matty, you're going to get to hear him again, whether you like it or not, on the Fiesta Bowl, Penn State, Arizona State. That's Christmas Day at 3 o'clock Eastern time following the NBA basketball game. More bowl action coming up. The Sun Bowl, Saturday, December 31st. Stanford and LSU, two exciting teams. Saturday, December 31. And then the biggie, the Cotton Bowl, unbeaten Texas, ranked number one against Notre Dame. That's Monday, January 2nd. The Cotton Bowl. That's Great your old alma mater, isn't yes, it? Yes, I'll be cheering for the Fighting Irish. <laughs> I have to admit it. First down, Green Bay. They lead it 9-7 to seven on a missed Ray Worshing field goal from the 29-yard line. Turdell Middleton, good running on that slippery turf, a gain of about seven. I'll tell you, he put a great move on there. Bruce Elias, Skip Vanderbunt, 55 and 52. The linebackers made the tackle. Watch how he puts this on number 44 right here. He puts a move to the outside, cuts up the inside, and on this kind of turf, he's lucky he didn't lose his balance on it, but he really made a good run. That this puts him in a great situation. A second and short yards, they can run or throw. Bruce Taylor, number 44. I think a little surprised Middleton was able to cut on that uh, greasy turf. I was, too. Second, about three to go. Marty Smith breaks one tackle and gets out to the 30, close to the first down. It was Willie Harper, number 59, the right side linebacker, putting the stop on him, and they do have the first down yardage. Marty Smith, who came into the game with 521 yards rushing, you know, Barty Smith isn't the most exciting runner in the world, but he's the kind of a guy that is consistent. He keeps hanging in there. He'll get that yardage for you. He's a big back, and he's also a great receiver coming out of the backfield for him. He's got 32 catches, and he's up there among the leaders in the National Conference. In motion goes Ollie Smith, number 89. First time we've seen that today. Whitehurst going to him, but a bad pass, overthrown. Whitehurst seemed to rush it a little bit and also uh, had a little trouble getting a good grip on it snap from the center there Whitehurst was pulling out a little early on the thing and I think that uh, he didn't have quite control of the football when he set up to throw it he rushed it so it is second and ten Green Bay the ball at their own 30 yard line it is nine to seven with 728 remaining in the first half the Packers lead it Ray Wershing uh, slipping on a field goal attempt from the 29 for San Francisco would have put them in front Barty Smith 
Smith is taken down by Elia after a gain of about two. Good defensive play. Elia and Willie Harper. He's got maybe two on the play. It'll be third down. Well, he's got maybe three. Let's call There's it There's my linebacker, Mr. Carter. He's a rah-rah guy out there, too. I'll tell you, before the game and warm-ups out on the field, he was yelling and screaming, everybody getting fired up for this game. Well, Bart Starr has been trying to assemble a team with character, guys that really want to play, and uh, he's being patient with them. They've won only three times, but they think they're on the road back here in the Green Bay area. Third down, seven to go. Whitehurst, complete to Ollie Smith, wide open. Eddie Lewis, number 22 on the coverage. Lewis playing the corner for the injured Tony Leonard, who's gone with a kidney injury suffered on Monday night against Dallas. Lewis, a second-year man from Kansas. There's a cheerleader. <laughs> I'll tell you, they got a fan club up in Green Bay for him. They carried him off about two, three weeks ago. Must, have taken, about, must yeah. have taken about 50 guys <laughs> to carry him off. He's got a great name, Mr. Roller, and he is built like that, too. He is, he's a fire plug out there. He loves to play. You can see that. You know, he's, he's smiling. He's having fun out here today. Green Bay leading helps him uh, feel out <laughs> yeah. a little bit, too. First down, the pack. Wide left is Ollie Smith. Whitehurst, screen pass, Smith. Good block on Vanderbunt. And Smith has another first down to the 36-yard line of San Francisco. Willie Harper finally got him, and he had to come from the right side linebacker spot. I'll tell you, block here. Watch number 71, Mel Jackson, come out here for the block. Watch him. Well, uh, you can't see it up in the right-hand corner, but he lays him right out. Skip Vanderbunt. 15-yard gain and a first down. And to contain this defense in front four is a job, and he, they've done it right here. There you see Hardman, Keelum, and Jimmy Webb. Those are three of the best. First down, Green Bay. Curdell Middleton trying to get wide. Can't do it. Good hit on him. That was number 26, Stan Black, who's starting in the safety spot for the injured Ralph McGill. He's a rookie from Mississippi State, and uh, Bart Starr probably a little disappointed that uh, Middleton couldn't quite make the turn. But again, that's the greasiest part of the field. It sure is. Lost Mr. Starr looking good out there, isn't he? Got that nice leather jacket on, keeping warm. I don't know how he's keeping warm. It is 35 degrees out there. These two quarterbacks throwing the ball well. Plunk at nine for 13, 106. And as you can see, David Whitehurst, a nifty six for eight, 104. we got five minutes left in the half. Intended for, oh, no, he can't hold on. Odom nearly made a great catch. Just as he made his cut, Tommy, he slipped, lost his balance, somehow got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite squeeze it. I'll tell you, this Whitehurst doesn't look like a rookie out there today. You know, I've watched in the last three weeks, and he's throwing the ball better today than he has in the last two weeks, I can guarantee. And he's setting up well. He's getting himself under control. He's finding that receiver and laying the ball up there perfect. That was another good throw. Odom just slipped before he caught it. Third L. Middleton goes out. Eric Torkelson, number 26, comes in. It is third and 11 for Green Bay. They are in San Francisco territory at the 37. Slot formation right. We have McGeorge in tight end, split wide left. Elam on the rush, complete up the middle to Torkelson out of the backfield, short of the first down. Good coverage by Stan Black and Willie Harper. And so the Packers will be well short. It'll be fourth down and about five yards to go. So uh, they will have to kick that ball, and it's going to be David Beverly coming in to punt. He'll be aiming for that coffin corner, as they call it, trying to get it inside that 10. Anything inside a 10 is considered an excellent kick. 4.43 remaining first half. Tim Ryan and Tom Maddie. We've had a very entertaining football game so far. 9-7, to seven, the Green Bay Packers lead it. Beverly from the 41-yard line. Good rush on him. And it goes out at the... Let's see where they're going to mark that. About the 14-yard line. So... Not a great punt by Beverly, but he had a good rush on him. He had Dave Williams, number 30, in uh, right on top of him with 4.26 remaining in the first half. Green Bay continues to lead it, 9-7. to seven. Radio Shack has a great Space Age gift for kids at a down-to-earth price. The original Space Patrol walkie-talkie. Just $14.95 a pair, and they really work. Crystal controlled and battery operated, just like Dad's portable CV. And they're built in Radio Shack's own electronics factory. 
So this Christmas, thrill your kids with the $14.95 a pair Space Patrol. Only at Radio Shack. Attending. Last hand. Eight hours and ten minutes. Fantastic. Finally, we come to the Nine hours and here. twelve minutes. Amazing. Vic Sinex Long Acting Nasal Spray is amazing. It can quickly have you breathing as easily as someone with no congestion problem. And then it decongests up to ten hours. Ten hours? Incredible. The opera? No, my nasal spray. Vic Sinex Long Acting. Incredible. If you are Emily Hughes, then I'm your daughter. Damn you for doing this to us. Arthur Hill and Barbara Barry in Tell Me My Name, Tuesday at 9.30, 8.30 Central in Mountain Time. Well, the playoff formula may be confusing, but it sure has brought a lot of excitement to the final weekend of NFL play. Look at this. The Giants at home to Chicago. They're tied 3-3 in the third. The Bears have got a win to make the playoffs. Peyton has 11 carries for 11 yards. That's it. All right, the 49ers with a first down. Wilbur Jackson, number 40. The ball carrier got maybe two on the play. And here's a big one, too. Houston in front of Cincinnati. The Bengals have to win in order to make the playoffs. If they win, they will win the Central Division of the AFC. That's it. Mr. Pastorini down there having another good day. He and Billy White shoot. Watson. That is a tough team, Houston. They are a very good football club. Well, that's what the boys have to contend with out here today. Just trying to keep the mud off the cleats, keep the feet moving. Second, and about eight to go. Jackson and Delvin Williams are the running back. This is Williams trying to wide left side. Gets one good block, slices through, and trying to get the first down. Looks to me like he's a little short. It'll be third and about three to go after a gain of six on the play. Well, they're going to give him a little more than I thought. Let's see where they mark it. It is short of first down yardage, that much we know. Let's call it third and a yard. You know, they use a special cleat on a day like today. Tim, that we used to use. She's called a mud cleat, which is about a half inch longer than the regular cleat. It helps you get down on the ground a little bit more to give you a little more stability. Well, we've had it slipping and sliding <laughs> primarily in the midfield area. Third down. And everybody moving all over the place. We had Harrison in motion. And Keith Bonhorst, the right offensive tackle, appeared to be the first man to move. Let's see what our referee, Fred Wyatt, has to say. It is illegal procedure against the 49ers. So that makes their third down situation a little more difficult. False start, number 71, offense. Third down. Keith Bonhorst was the man. And so it is third, about seven, six and a half. And they are six out of eight, as we said, in converting these today. In the slot comes Gene Washington wide right. It's Kenny Harrison, number 83. They pretty much have to throw here. Williams moves up to the wing. Everybody's out in the pattern. Sideliner picked up by Buchanan. Look out, look Buchanan out. Buchanan will score. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown, Green Bay. Oh. And the Packers lengthen their lead. Tom, you got to wonder a little bit about that call. We had all the receivers in the pattern. Throwing in the flat deep in his own end. And it's a long throw. Here's Plunkey set it up. And you can see the ball is really thrown high. Gives the defensive back plenty of time to come up. And he, he can walk in that end zone. Makes a great interception. Right. Here comes uh, oh. Mike McCoy to make sure he gets in there unmolested. <laughs> He's going to help him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so the Packers with their second interception. This time they take it right in for the score. 29 yards. Willie Buchanan. I tell you, Plunkett just didn't have the zip on the ball there. When you throw that sideline pattern, you can't arc it out. Well, I got to question that call anyway. Uh, I was yeah. very surprised to see him take both the backs out. He set Williams up on the wing, and then he had had uh, Jackson coming out in the pattern. And anytime you throw sideline that deep in your own end, you're you're buying a little problem anyway. And he had nobody to block. Had to release the ball real quick. I'm a little bit surprised. So the Packers take advantage of the interception for a big six and. Chester Marco will kick the point after when we return in a moment. Why did he not kick it while we were... Sorry. Oh, it's a long delay out there. 
Okay, Green Bay, Buchanan. Oh, yes, we did, but we're still here, evidently, and uh, Green Bay uh, has a 15 to nothing lead, and they had to get another man on the field in order to kick that uh, extra point. Chester Marco is now ready to go. David Beverly will hold. I would say he better hit this one. Hit the post last time up. <laughs> and there's movement there by the 49ers. Whether they were drawn or not remains to be seen. Referee Fred Wyant will let us know. It's against the Packers, so somebody got the hand up there a little quickly. Greg. Chester Marco will get a little more practice. He's been <laughs> kicking the ball a lot today, Tommy. He sure has. Ball start, number 68. Number 68, Greg Cook, rookie offensive tackle. Marco from the 15 this time, and that's good. So the Green Bay Packers on the converted touchdown move into a 16-7 lead over the San Francisco 49ers, 2.53 remaining first half. Well, you caught me. Doing a not so great job wrapping a great Christmas gift. A Kodak Tele Instamatic 608 camera. It's almost like giving two cameras because it has two lenses. Okay, Star, do your stuff. Look how the telephoto lens can make the best part of your picture bigger. A Kodak Tele 608 camera doesn't cost a great deal of money, but it gives a great deal of pleasure. And like all Kodak gifts, the Tele 608 camera says, Open me first to save Christmas in pictures. If you owned a Weller soldering gun kit like this, you'd find it easy to do lots of things around the house. Like patch a planter, fix a frame, customize a car, solder a signal, sculpt a statue, touch up a Tiffany, set up a CB. Get yourself a Weller soldering gun kit. See how easy soldering can be. Weller, one of the fine family of tools from Cooper Industries. You know, Mr. Markle scored 50 points this season. That ain't too bad. They haven't had much offense generated at all, but at least he's got 50 of them. Well, there's the story on the board of the last touchdown. Willie Buchanan's 29-yard interception for the score. Paul Hofer is the deep man for San Francisco. Markle will kick it off, and the pack leads it 16-7 here. Time winding down on the first half. Hofer standing right on the goal line. A low kick, bouncing, and out of bounds. So Marco will have to do it all over again. How are we doing here at Tampa and St. Louis? What, how does it stand? I can't see that one. Let's see. There's a 17-7. to 7. Tampa Bay is really coming after. They had a 27-yard field goal. And it's in a third period with 417 left. How about that? There it is right there, 17-7. This is really an upset because, to me, St. Louis was one of the greatest offensive threats with Hart and Metcalf and uh, Mel Gray out there. They really had some offense, but they sure have fallen apart. Metcalf hurt in this game today and will not return. So they've lost a little offensive punch, and they're going to need it to come back against that tough Tampa Bay defense. One thing about those Buccaneers, though, they lost and lost and lost and lost. They were very seldom embarrassed. They played everybody tough defensively all season long. Well, they held Mr. Payton down there to about 106 yards a couple of weeks ago. If you can hold him him down. I'll tell you one thing. They have a good defensive ball club. Marco will have to do it again as we look at Paul Hofer who's now moved up to the five yard line. Marco will be hitting it from his own 30. 16 to 7 here in Milwaukee. The Packers leading the 49ers. Packers 3 and 10. The 49ers 5 and 8. They both want to improve on that. Momentarily juggled. You know, there's, there's something that happened right there that shouldn't happen. When you have your special teams, and this is one of the, the downfalls that San Francisco's had this year, is their special teams have been really not very good at all. They I don't know if they, they work on them, but they just have not done a good job, and one of the things that they need improvement is on that. That deep man should catch that ball. The other guy to the outside is should come on up and just... Uh, that was Bobby yeah. Farrell who caught it. Right. And Hofer was the deep man who was over there trying to get to it. 12-yard return, first down, 49ers. 
at their own 27-yard line. Jackson and Delvin Williams, the running back. For Harrison, oh. and he drops another one. Kenny Harrison, that ball was right on the money from Plunkett at the 45-yard line with Buchanan on the coverage, but Harrison couldn't hold on. That's two of them today. Yes, dropped. it is. I'll tell you, Plunkett drilled that ball in there. There was no arc on it. He laid that ball right up there, and it was a good throw. Second I'd, down. I'd have to, uh, I'd have to be a little upset about it. He's coming out of the ball game right here. Wide right. From number 81, Willie McGee, in at wide receiver. Plunkett to throw, swings it out for Jackson. Hit immediately. Good coverage by Steve Luke, the safety, who had that one figured all the way, and there's no gain on the play. Number 46, Steve Luke. He's having a fine afternoon. Well, they've gone another quarter without a touchdown being <laughs> scored in that Chicago Giants game. The Giants, as we said, a good, tough defensive team. Bears, uh, they got to have it somehow, some well, way. Well, they, they, they're controlling their own destiny. You know, if they lose that game, it's their, you know, it's their own fault because I'd really like to see Chicago in there. You know, Jim Fink's the general manager. I think one of the great guys in football, and they've got a good young coach up there in Jack Pardee. Uh, I'd like to see this ball club represent. They've done an outstanding job in Chicago since Fink's took over and uh, could well be in the playoffs. We've got a, a timeout on the field here at the... 221 still to play. Must have been an injury timeout. It is third down. Uh oh. Giants are coming back. See, I start rooting for Chicago. What happens? The Giants come right here and beat them. Get another field goal. Get a 19 yard field goal with 11.39 left in that fourth quarter. So they're up 6 to 3. You know, the conditions in New York are, are really bad right now. They've got a sleeting rain. The field is in, in, in bad condition, so I'd imagine they're going to have their problems with footing and throwing and holding on that football. Green Bay took a timeout on that play, and uh, now we're set to go with third and 11 San Francisco. You know, that, that statistic right there that we saw there, six for nine on the conversion on the third down, that's pretty high. Jackson Williams. Running backs and wide open Paul Seal. Seal has a first down for the 49ers out near the 50 yard line. Luke, the man to hit him, and that's a bit of a physical mismatch. Paul <laughs> Seal, 6'4, 223. Luke is uh, 6'3, 200. And I would think he's probably a little under that by now. Right. You, this is a zone defense, and he just picks right in between the slots right in there and comes up, dumps that ball over the top. Seal picks it off, gets the first down, a 19 yard reception. We've reached the two-minute warning here at County Stadium in Milwaukee, and the Green Bay Packers continue to lead the 49ers 16 to 7. Christmas is a time for closeness, and closeness is what Norelco razors are all about. The rotary razors with 36 blades. They come in cord and rechargeable models. They're the razors that cured the gotchas. And the ladybugs, the ladies' razors that really work. And the Ladybug Salon, a ladybug razor plus 11 grooming attachments. Norelco, even our name says Merry Christmas. Attention shoppers, the new Atari cartridge game is in. Excuse me. Uh-oh, George again. Atari's Air Sea Battle. It comes with 27 games, but that's just for starters. You can get nine cartridges, 187 Ooh, games. Blackjack. <laughs> oh! I'd like an Atari. Sorry. Only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system by Atari. <laughs> more games, more fun. This final day is a big one in the National Football League, and at halftime, you'll be brought right up to date by Phyllis Brent Nerve. Scores and highlights from around the NFL. Stay with us through the rest of this game. It's been an entertaining tilt so far. First down, 49ers. The ball at their own 47-yard line. Plunkett, who's been gunning today, has it up again. Complete to Gene Washington. Hit by McCoy and Johnny Gray and hit hard. And he gets up and says, I'm okay. Let's try it again. I tell you, he's a tough kid. 
Here's an isolated camera on him right here. You can look up, see him looking at the snap of the ball. He's coming down. He's just going to do a square off pattern to the inside. Uses those short, choppy steps, as we say. And you can see those defensive backs come up and really nail him. Dave Roller came right, at, right through the line of scrimmage and flattened Jim Plunkett before he even got the ball. And whether he was drawn offside, if Plunkett says, hey, Dave, you don't have to be that nasty. I mean, I didn't even have the ball in my hand. <laughs> That's where you get in real trouble, let me tell you. And they're going to call it offside against the Packers. Whether we can see that one again or not, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ask our video disc operator, and if we can get it up, we will. Offside, number 74, defense, first down. I, I, I'd call him offside just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted the handoff, I think, is what he Dave wants to carry the ball for anybody, even the opposition. <laughs> I don't know how he slipped in between two of them. You know, you got that little chunky body there. First and five for the 49ers. That's the easiest five yards they'll get all day. <laughs> Bucket, deep for McGee, overthrown, and oh, what a catch! Oh, he couldn't hold on. Charlie Buchanan made a great effort to grab that one in the end zone, but when he hit the ground, he dropped the ball. Uh, Diving attempt by Buchanan. That is a great, great try. You know, I, I wonder about whether McGee had the, the right pattern on. He seemed a little uncertain when he got to the goal line, and Bunkett was going right for that corner. So whether it was overthrown or whether it was McGee running the pattern uh, incorrectly will not be known until after the game is over. Ken Meyer has his opinion right now. <laughs> uh, you know, McGee hasn't been used that much this year. He's only caught two balls to date. Willie McGee had a broken leg, missed all of last season, and uh, they've been kind of bringing him back slowly. He wasn't really ready to go until mid-season this year. Draw play, Wilbur Jackson. Look, Look at him go. Jackson's going to score. Touchdown. Wilbur Jackson with a minute 20 on the clock brings it in from the 33 yard line, and the 49ers are right back in it. Plunkett calls a great play right here. Just opens the door. Jackson steps right up there, and he just outruns him here. You can see him put on the speed, jumps in that end zone with both feet. That was a great call, and, you know, I criticized the, the last call of his. i got to sure give marks for that one <laughs> because they were, uh, Packers were obviously thinking pass. A real good draw play call, and the 49ers, Ray Worshing puts it through, and the point after is good. And so we're back to a two-point differential with 120 remaining here in this first half. The Green Bay Packers lead it 16 to 14. I'll tell you that one point... That extra point could be a big factor in this game now again. Wilbur Jackson for the score, six plays, 71 yards. And remember, next Saturday here on CBS at 4.30 Eastern Time, the World Professional Skateboard Speed Championships. And they've got an interesting event in this one that I'm kind of looking forward to. They have what they call skate cars now, and the kids lie down on these things, and they're surrounded by fiberglass. They look kind of like a miniature rocket car, and they can go up to about 50 miles an hour going downhill. They do have brakes on them, I'm happy to report. Oh, is that right? <laughs> but they steer them just by shifting them as you normally would standing up on a skateboard if you were a skateboarder, which I'm not. I bought my one, my son's birthday was yesterday, Tim, and I bought him a skateboard. Well, get him a headgear. I'll tell you, he's, he's got that. He's got that from hockey. All right, we're, the we're European Figure Skating Championships, if you missed it last year from Helsinki, uh, <laughs> we're bringing it back by popular demand. That's also on the sports spec. I didn't miss it. All Did right, you? from the kickoff, the Packers. Number 37, Tim Moresco brings it up the sideline, a short kickoff, and he got it up over the 35. See where they mark it. It looks about close to the 38, 39-yard line. A good field position for the pack with 116 remaining here in the first half. Uh, there's a man that's awful happy to get those seven, six points at the end of the season here, Mr. Jackson. He's having a good day, a good rush, and these two guys are two great backs, Jackson and Williams. First down, Green Bay. Set the tight end on the wing. Markelson and Smith, the running backs. Whiters will throw complete to Odom. Steve Odom has a first down. Inside the 45-yard line of the 49ers. They got the hurry-up offense going right now, lining up on the ball. They've got two timeouts left. Got over just under a minute to go. They can get down here in field goal range. First down. Whitehurst, complete good catch. Eric Markleson fumble. Smith diving forward. Who's got it? 
Green Bay. Green Bay, Marty Fitz recovered the fumble. Torkelson made a real good catch in traffic, but then lost the ball as he was tackled. But Marty Smith very alertly recovered. And they call a timeout, Tim. Stop that clock. Here you get a chance to see the rush by San Francisco, that big front four. He's got some time. The offensive line's doing a good job. Whitehurst drops it over to Torkelson. He makes a great catch here. The ball is stripped out. Barty Smith very alertly picks that ball up. He needed that one. And there's the master himself right there, Mr. Bart Starr. We've had ourselves some action in this football I say, game. It's not bad. Uh, last game of the season, what do you think? I'm not kidding there. Those guys look like they're enjoying it out there. And I think one thing that's contributed to it is that it's not as cold in Milwaukee as it normally would be <laughs> that's right. this time of year. I know these 49ers, they get to train in that beautiful Bay Area weather and they uh, practice there. But when they come into the East, they don't want to be here in December. And uh, they had to feel pretty good when they got up this morning and found that it was uh, really more like uh, an early fall day for Milwaukee. And uh, the low of uh, 35, we may be somewhere down to uh, about 35 degrees now. It's 40 at the kickoff. So the Packers have used up their timeouts. And they're going to have to uh, do something in 40 seconds here without having another opportunity to uh, stop the clock with a timeout. I think if they get another 10 yards here, they you know, throw that quick out pattern, stop the clock, and go for the field goal, Tim. That's what they're going to have to go for. Look for, the, look for those sideline patterns so that they can get these guys out to the outside and get that stop, the clock stopped. First down, Green Bay. Lots of time for Whiters for McGeorge overthrown out of bounds. Mel Phillips and Skip Vanderbunt on the coverage to Rich McGeorge. Got a finger on it. But uh, that was all. Pass a little overthrown. Number 81, the tight end, Rich McGeorge, eight-year man from Elon College in North Carolina. He's second in, in receiving to the tight end. Second down. We've got 35 seconds remaining. There's Chester, who's uh, kept that leg busy today, and he may have another opportunity to get some exercise. Lot formation. Now they send Odom the other way, and they've got McGeorge on the wing with Odom now wide right. Holly Smith, wide left. White Earth has time, swings it to Smith, hit immediately by Vanderbunt, breaks the tackle. Get out! And do it. Uh, McGeorge, or rather, Barty Smith could not get out of bounds. 22 seconds left. You know the 49ers aren't going to hustle back. Good effort by Smith, broke one tackle. 15 seconds, and the officials called time to get everybody organized. Barty Smith is hurt on the play. He really is. He's he's down. He's just throwing that ball away. Oh, there's a penalty flag down, too. Flag is down. Eight seconds left as Whitehurst just threw it out of bounds intended in the general direction of Odom to oh. get that clock stopped. And that hurt. It's against the Packers. So that will bring on the punting unit because they are not close enough for a Chester Marcole field goal try. And so the 49ers put the stop on the pack here and these Closing seconds, no, it will be, Mark. Cole Beverly is going to hold. See what the penalty is. Ball start, number 68, offense, third down. Oh, all right, so that's not so bad. They're at the 35. That makes it a 45-yard try for Chester Marco. They might as well take a swing at it. Eight seconds on the clock. He can slip. He's right in a very wet spot out there in the field. It's really muddy. He gets his foot into it. No good. It's wide left. Mark Cole is wide left. So he and Worshing have each missed field goal tries here. And we've got three seconds showing on the clock. And uh, the San Francisco 49ers managed to stop the Packers' final thrust in this first half. The Pack continues to lead it 16 to 14. Very closely contested game. With three seconds to go, the 49ers will have first down. Ball at their own 27-yard line. This is what they call throw it up for grabs and run. Chester Marco has kicked 13 of 19 this season. And he missed from 45 yards. Delvin Williams. Dave Roller on the tackle will complete the half. And that's it at the end of the first half of play. The San Francisco 49ers trailing the home team Green Bay Packers by a score of 16 to 14. The preseason.
preceding announcement was brought to you as a public service by the National Football League. Tim Ryan and Tom Maddy back in Milwaukee, and our latest <laughs> word, look at this, 9-9, nine, nine, 38 seconds remaining, and that missed point after by Bob Thomas on the only touchdown of the game, Robin Earl's five-yard run, could be the big point it in that sure contest. It looks like it's going to go in a sudden death overtime game up there, and they've got that freezing rain, and it's just with hail mixed in, it's just miserable. I don't want to go there. home, I'll tell you, <laughs> listen to that. This is uh, like Tampa by comparison. Three Joe Donella field goals for the Giants, a Bob Thomas field goal, and a five-yard touchdown run by Robin Earl in that game. And uh, as we have underlined, and certainly all Chicago fans know, the Bears must win to get into the playoffs. You know, we... So we are now 16-14 here at halftime. The teams are back on the field and we'll be uh, getting underway here shortly. Let's take a look at this game statistically. I guess, Tom, that uh, we've seen a lot of offense here. Green Bay's got to be happy. Their third week of uh, producing a lot of offense. That, that was their primary problem during the first part of the season. Two interceptions really hurt uh, San Francisco. I think those are the two, th the two things that really put 10 points up on the board for Green Bay. You know, you don't have to be too smart. When you make those kind of mistakes, you're going to get some points scored against you, and that's exactly what happened to San Francisco today. Overall, Whitehurst is doing a great job, and so is Jim Plunkett. They're both throwing the ball very well. If one has 148, the other has 133 net yards. They're right up there as far as statistic percentage completions. They're really doing a great job, but, you know, it, it's been an interesting first half. It's been exciting. There's been a lot of offense generated. This is the, you know, this is the kind of football game that you like to announce and people like to see. There's some action. One action. Of, right. One of the things that uh, should be pointed out about the 49ers secondary, uh, and perhaps contributing uh, in no small measure to the success of David Whitehurst, they have both Ralph McGill and Tony Leonard, two starters. Leonard, the left corner, McGill, the safety, both out with injuries, and they've got Eddie Lewis, a second-year man, playing for Leonard, and a rookie, Stan Black, playing for Ralph McGill. And so, uh, obviously, uh, the Packers are taking advantage of that, but that's to take nothing away from from David Whitehurst, who has been on the money with his passes, and uh, that's part of the game. You pick on the weaknesses, and the Pack has been able to do it. So we're underway with Ray Wershing's kickoff, a bouncer, and it's fumbled momentarily. Still loose and rolled back at the 21. Wow. Steve Wagner, number 21, comes up with the ball and uh, at the 26-yard line, rather, not the 21. And uh, the Pack will start from there, first and 10, as he was swarmed under by a bunch of eager 49ers uh, looking to come up with a loose ball. You know, the kickers are all having trouble kicking that ball on the, on the, on the, extra, on the kickoffs here because of the footing that's out there. Steve Odom comes wide left. Barty Smith and Eric Torkelson are the running backs. Willard Harrell, injured early in the first period, will not return to the game. Torkelson, number 26, breaks tackles and picks up about eight yards to the 35-yard line. Finally stopped by Mel Phillips and Stan Black, 32 and 26, the safety. I think we got another hurdler in there. He jumped over a couple of people, picked a good hole. It's a slant play. They're using that tight end in there, blocking down, picking his hole. The back picks his hole, picked up eight yards, gives a good second down situation. Eric Torkelson, fourth-year man from Connecticut, 6'2", 201 pounder, at 274 yards rushing coming into the game. Has not played a whole lot for the last several games. Nate Simpson uh, has taken over those duties, but he has an ankle injury today. Torkelson again, good hole. First down yardage for the Packers. Over their 40 to the 42, Bruce Elia, number 55, and Stan Black, number 26, the safety on the tackle. You know, this offensive line for Green Bay has been riddled, but you can see the blocking here. They get the great block right there. Turkelson picks his hole, comes up, and the halfback has got to make the tackle again right there. Mel Jackson, 71, Dick Heim, <laughs> 72, opening up the hole for him. You know, if you see fans, you can see how you can get hurt in this game. You see about four or five guys coming right in there, right on top of you, and giving you the shots, boy. First down at the 41 of Green Bay. Play action. Whitehurst will throw on first down. Wide open is McGeorge. Flag is down. McGeorge has more than enough for the first down. Stan Black, number 26, the safety, and the middle linebacker, Bruce Elia, 55. They're bringing it back. Well, it's offside against the 49ers. Here's Whitehurst setting up again with the play action. You can see him setting up, and he lays that right out there. McGeorge is the wide open. Great defense. catch. Offside. Tucks it away. Declined. First down. Gets that first down, you heard the official call it. They declined that penalty, as you might expect, and uh, look at this one going right to the wire. Houston leading Cincinnati 15 to 13. They're in the fourth. 
A 15-yard gain on the play to Rich McGeorge. Cincinnati needs to win that game to make the playoff. Barty Smith flags all over the place as Smith dives for four or five yards. Again, the safety Stan Black has been a busy man for the 49ers so far in the second half. Cedric Hardman ranging back number 86 to help him out. Uh, here's one that was a real wing dinger, too, that we had. You know, Philadelphia is an up-and-coming young ball club. They've knocked off the Jets 27 to nothing. Infraction against Illegal Green Bay. Motion, offense, first down. They are in overtime at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. The Giants and the Bears, holy smokes, what a finish there. You know, the Jets were planning on starting a lot of their substitutes today. I think only about five of the regular starters. Walt Michaels said he wanted to look at the rest of his team for next year. That may have, had, may have played a role in that loss to Philadelphia. Whitehurst intended for Ollie Smith incomplete off his fingers, well covered by Lewis and Willie Harper. And Mr. Whitehurst got knocked back on his shoulders right after he let go of that ball. Lewis and Elia make it on the coverage, 55. Jim Plunkett on the 49er bench waiting to get back into action. Second down, 15 to go. Rich McGeorge comes out. Burt asks him into the game for him at tight end number 88. Second and 15, the Packers just inside 49er territory. Quick pass out for Ollie Smith, trying to screen him there, but it's broken up quickly. Eddie Lewis, number 22, oh. the cornerback, really made a fine defensive play. I'll tell you, they put him in motion coming across. Eddie Lewis followed him all the way across. Here it is right here again. Whitehurst sets up, throws up there, and you can see Lewis come up, beats the block right there, comes up there and makes the tackle on Ollie Smith. Good play by the young second-year man in Kansas. Second round choice a year ago. Walter Payton through regulation time, only 39 yards today on 15 carries. So they didn't really give him the ball nearly as much as they normally do. He's usually carrying 30 times a game. Well, he sure didn't break that record, but he had one great year. They're in overtime. Third down here, and too much time. Delay will be against the Green Bay Packers make that third and very long after the loss on the play. Lewis had made the good tackle on the preceding play. Drop him back to third and about 18. Now it's going to be third and about 23. The ball comes back to the 45-yard line. Delay offense. Third down. Five defensive backs in in the obvious passing situation for the San Francisco 49ers. Mike Burns, number 28, the fifth defensive back in there. That's your clock to time the play. You must get it off by that uh, clock going down to zero within 30 seconds, of course. Slot formation left. Whiters, another screen pass. Torkelson has blockers. Torkelson gets out to the, over the 50 to the, about the 46-yard line. Willie Harper got him from behind, and Skip Vanderbunt came over from the other side to put the tackle on. And they will have to punt. It is fourth down and about 13 to go at the 45 of San Francisco. You know, I think this is a good call. You're not going to be able to pick up all the yardage. So let's knock off a little bit of it, get Beverly in there to be able to punt it down there and get the field position. You can see they pick the hole right there. It's a good tackle. Good call. They picked up 10 yards on the play, so it gives them about fourth and about 13. Beverly standing on his own 39. The lone safety is Stan Black awaiting the punt. Beverly angling it. That's going to be a good punt. It's going to be an excellent punt. Oh. Taken out of bounds by number 43, Andre Thompson. And uh, it is inside the 10-yard line at about the 8 of San Francisco. And it remains 16 to 14, Green Bay. A 39-yard punt by David Beverly has the 49ers backed up deep in their own zone. Ball at the seven yard line. First down, 11.39 remaining in the third period. Tim Ryan and Tom Matty. The county stadium in Milwaukee, Delvin Williams. Stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Williams did not have a whole lot of yardage in the first half, only 19 yards. And here's a final that's unbelievable again. Tampa Bay 
Knocks off St. Louis, 17 to seven. That is a final. The Buccaneers are starting a new streak. Yeah, <laughs> maybe the winningest team in football. Look at this. Oh, Look at boy. this. 18 to 13. The Bengals up against it, against the Houston Oilers. Time running out down there. Second down, about seven to go. A gain of three by Delvin Williams. Williams needed 115 yards to get a thousand for the season. Will not do that today. Wilbur Jackson. Jackson cannot make the turn. Good coverage over there by the Packers. Fred Carr, number 53, the right side linebacker, along with Ezra Johnson, number 78, and the cornerback, Mike McCoy. Third down, about two to go for the 49ers. Willie McGee has been in there uh, since the second drop by Ken Harrison. There's Kenny Meyer uh, going with him, and they're a little short on receivers. We've got one of them standing in our booth. And after this play, we'll uh, hear from Tom Mitchell, the starting tight end. 11-year man from Bucknell who's out with a knee injury. Old Colt teammate of Tom Maddox. Williams, again, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Looked like Ezra Johnson, number 78, playing for Bob Barber, who left the game with a wrist injury. You can, Watch him. You can see the defense tighten up right to the inside. Watch Carter come right back up in, fill a hole to the inside. Williams has no place to go. And they stop him. It's a fourth down situation. The punt is off. Of a high snap. Whittem handled it. It's taken on a at the 46-yard line by Johnny Gray. A flag is down. And Gray with a whole swarm of 49ers around him. Randy Cross, number 51, the first guy to get there. But a flag is down. It was down downfield. So it's not one of those linemen leaving the line of scrimmage too early as far as we can tell because the flag was dropped down near where the ball came down. We'll wait and see what the call is here by referee Fred Wyant. Offside against the Green Bay Packers. And that gives uh, San Francisco a first down. They were fourth and about a yard and a half, so uh, big break for the 49ers. Let's bring in Tom Mitchell. We've got a microphone on him. Tom, nice to have you here. I know you'd rather be finishing up the season out on the field. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you the benefit of the doubt, yeah, Tom. No question about that. You know, Tim, the guys down at the truck wanted to say hello to you, Bob, and Jim Silman down there, Bob Rowe, Jim Silman, they want to say hello to you also. And uh, this guy Delay, used to be my... Too many men on the field, Green Bay. First down. Tim, this guy used to be my roommate with the Baltimore Colts, and I had him for a roommate for about eight years, so he's an old buddy. In fact... He's ending up the season, and we're going back home on the plane together to Baltimore tonight. He's living in Baltimore. And we'll get back. I want to ask you a few questions after this play, Tom. Well, they called it too many men on the field. They had signaled offside. But uh, either way, it's against Green Bay. Hit shot, Williams. Off right tackle. Did not get much. Good coverage over there. And uh, Toner and Jim Carter made the tackle on him. Tom, uh, what's the mood of your team coming into this game today? It's been a rough season for the 49ers. It has, but uh, I think they're opening up for a change. Uh, it looks like they're going back in their shell right now, but uh, Jim's been throwing the ball well. He's had a couple drops, but he's got he's to have 15, 20 yards of catch. He's uh, throwing the ball real well. I'd like to see him throw it. I'd like to see him throw it more, I guess, during the regular season, huh? <laughs> That's for sure. During the rest of the regular season, we should say, this being the final game for the 49ers. Play action here. Puckett has time now moving left. Okay. Complete to Gene Washington. First down yardage at the 35-yard line of San Francisco. Willie Buchanan and Fred Carr on the tackle. And Gene Washington again having a, a good day, Tom Mitchell. Tom, what was he playing here on this play here? Well, he's trying to go strong side. Now he looks back. He'll run out. He, he very seldom runs with the ball. He'll look downfield. He picks he up those team. receivers pretty good if, after Real he well. gets out, yeah. outside, outside that pocket, doesn't he? Sometimes he comes out a little early, but uh, he usually finds someone down there. First down for the 49ers, the ball at the 35. It's been a passing afternoon kind of game. Uh, Tom Mitchell likes to be down there <laughs> running a few of those patterns. Lots of time again. Now he has to hustle out of there. Good coverage deep. And almost got it to Jackson, but Tom Toner got a hand on it, number 59 as Plunkett rolled out of there, and uh, earlier in a similar situation, Plunkett and Jackson combined for a real good play to save what uh, could have been a sack situation. So it'll be second down for the 49ers at the 35. Tom Mitchell, uh, as uh, has been commented on other telecasts, uh, the aging Tom Mitchell, the veteran 11-year <laughs> man from Bucknell, are you coming back next year? 
Uh, hopefully. It depends on my knee. I might have to have an operation. Uh, as long as I'm aging and not aging. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit. <laughs> Kenny Harrison is back in the lineup for Willie McGee. And he is uh, split wide right at the bottom of your screen. They jump into the split back. Still Delvin Williams and Wilbur Jackson. Williams trying to make the turn. Jim Carter sliced through from middle linebacker and prevented him from doing so. Woody Peoples leading the way, number 69, but Carter came in behind him. Tom, here's Paul Seal right here on the replay, and, and this we'll be able to get it on the next one around here, but we'd like to show the blocking as a tight end as what you have to do, what your responsibilities are. Maybe you can explain it to the audience. He made a good block that time. I was watching. Oh, you were watching. Sure. Right? <laughs> he wants my job. <laughs> Paul Seal, fourth-year man from Michigan, came over from New Orleans to trade for John Watson. Third down, eight to go. 49ers still trailing by two points. They need this. Pump it with time. Intercepted by Fred Carr. Carr pulls his way to the 40-yard line where he's pulled down by John Ayers, the left guard. And uh, that pass underthrown, and Fred Carr had a little Christmas gift early. So the Packers take over with a first down. We have 7-17 remaining third period. Green Bay continues to lead the 49ers, 16-14. Radio Shack has a great Space Age gift for kids at a down-to-earth price. The original Space Patrol walkie-talkie. Just $14.95 a pair, and they really work. Crystal-controlled and battery-operated, just like Dad's portable CV. And they're built in Radio Shack's own electronics factory. So this Christmas, thrill your kids with the $14.95 a pair Space Patrol. Only at Radio Shack. Attend the company. These are top Ford trucks, champs in pickup gas mileage again this year. Ford pickups are the V8 gas engine mileage champs and the six-cylinder mileage champs. Ford has better EPA ratings than all these other conventional full-size pickups. And Courier has the best compact mileage rating of the four top-selling compact pickups. Top Ford pickups, the gas mileage champs, again this year. The Bible, the most enduring story ever told. A special holiday presentation on the CBS Friday Night Movies at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time. 7.17 to go, third period here in Milwaukee. Tim Ryan and Tom Matty. Chicago's Bob Thomas has missed a 35-yard field goal try in the overtime. And so it is still tied in overtime at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. First down, Green Bay following the interception by Carr. It's complete to Barty Smith. He slips and picks up about five, maybe six on the play. Eddie Lewis, number 22, Skip Vanderbilt, number 52 on the tackle. And another big game. Houston has opened its margin over Cincinnati, Tom Matty, and uh, the Bengals look like, like they've they're got in deep it, trouble. They've got it wrapped up now. I think Cincinnati's in... You know, they were, there was another team that controlled their own destiny right there. They had If they won this ball game, they were in the playoffs. Now they're out of there. No report on uh, Pittsburgh yet. I think that's a later game today. Pittsburgh, yeah. are they on the coast? I think so. And Baltimore, that's another big game. That comes on at 4 o'clock. Oh! Eric nice Torkelson, ball. first down yardage for Torkelson. Willie Harper stops him, but too late to prevent the first down as the Packers, trying to capitalize on the interception by Carr, have a first down now. There's a back that came out of Connecticut. They're at the 29 there he is yard right line. Here. He is running hard. He wants a job next year. This is, you know, you get an opportunity and not too many. There was a little face mask there that the official missed. Good block by the center, Larry McCarron, number 54. And we got a new man in there, Mr. Tony Klein, came in for San Francisco on that front four. And he's like, he's a pretty good defensive end, too. Harper puts the stop on Barty Smith on that play after a gain of maybe four. We'll call it second and six. There's Fred Carr who picked off that interception. Tom Mitchell, did you think that that was a badly thrown pass or did somebody run an incorrect pattern? No, it was a poorly thrown pass. He was trying to hit Kenny Harrison coming across uh, from wide receiver. About 15-yard crossing pass. Well, there's the official word, so the uh, interception, an easy one for 
Fred Carr. Jim Culbreth is in for Barty Smith, the rookie from Oklahoma at running back. Harkelson trips over a body and still dives down near the 20-yard line. It looks like he'll be uh, short of the first down by considerable. This is what you call a snake in the grass. Watch him take this here. Comes right through again. Jumps over top. Nobody hits him. And he just keeps on moving. <laughs> as long as nobody hits you, it's all right. Third and three. Green Bay has converted uh, three of six of these situations today. They lead this ball game 16 to 14. Time running down on the third period. Slot formation left. Whitehurst on the option. Keeps trying to get first down. Close, and it'll be close. Tommy Hart, the left defensive end, number 53. First man to get him, along with Jimmy Webb, number 74. Left tackle. They are going to be short by about a yard and a couple of inches. Crowd says go for it. Barty Smith is bringing the play in for oh. Bart Starr. All right, Bart. They're going for it. That's right. They lead by two, 16 to 14. They've been moving the ball effectively all day against the 49er defense. Now this is where this front four has got to pull it in and stop them right now. Smith. Hit right at the line of scrimmage, but diving forward may have got it. It's going to be close, Tim. There you see getting up. Skip Vanderbilt, number 52, coming in from the left linebacker spot. They're bringing the markers in. Coming up from safety was Stan Black, number 26. He was in the thick of it. And they're going to measure. David Whitehurst, uh, slightly interested spectator here. Our spotter over here says he's got it by two inches. Let's see if he's right. <laughs> Bob Schultz, our spotter. Jim Palmer, statistician. We want to thank them for their efforts. Oh, he does. How do you like that? <laughs> That's what kind of help we need up there, see? <laughs> That's a pretty good call from here. <laughs> I could, you know, with the angle, I had no idea. Here again is a shot of him diving over the top. He's met right in the middle of the hole right there by number 55. Elia. Mr. Elia from Ohio State. So it's first down, Green Bay. They continue to move on the 49ers, and they lead by two points. Turnovers have hurt the 49ers. Three interceptions. Torkelson, oh. what a hit on him. Oh, Torkelson really got racked, and he held on to the ball. That was uh, Webb, Jimmy Webb, number 74. Straighten him right up. You'll be able to see Jimmy Webb coming to your pitcher right here. Watch him. He's almost in the backfield the handoff time. Boom. Hello, Eric. Hello. Where do I go and now? Mr. Klein comes in and finishes him off. We got a final here with New Orleans and Atlanta. 35 to 7. Atlanta, oh. great defensive ball club, probably set a record this year. Condolences to Henry Stram, who's uh, got to be on the griddle. On the griddle down there. That player doesn't look too excited so far. This club's leading, but only by two. Loss of a yard on Torkelson's play. That was Terry Randolph, back up defensive back looking on, and we've got a timeout down on the field with 2.48 remaining third period. Green Bay leads it 16 to 14. Ten years ago, no one knew me. I was part of the famous no-name defense. Then we built our reputation by being fast. Now, I don't want to lose that. I drink light beer from Miller because it doesn't fill me up, has a third less calories than a regular beer, and it tastes great. Now, everyone knows me. Hey, I know you. You're, uh, uh, uh... Nick Bonacani. No, that's not it. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Because here at Levi's, we put a little blue jean in everything we make. Chestnuts roasting on an open <laughs> fire. <laughs> we got ah, we'll be in Arizona for Christmas. you got to look on the bright side. It'll be warmer there <laughs> than it is at home. Sports Spectacular on Saturday starts off our great Christmas weekend on CBS. And then on Sunday, Christmas Day, NBA basketball, Buffalo and Cleveland, followed by the Fiesta Bowl 
And then on Monday, our NFL playoff doubleheader with games from Los Angeles and Dallas. Quite a weekend. A nice way to spend the holiday weekend over Christmas. Get a little red-eyed watching the tube here on CBS. <laughs> Don't tell that to my wife. I will be gone on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, Tom and Lindsey Nelson now bring you that Fiesta Bowl. We're looking forward to it. It should be exciting. Right here, we've got second and 11 following that tough hit by Jimmy Webb. In motion goes Ollie Smith. Whitehurst will throw. He's been throwing all day. He's got heat on. Up the middle, complete to Rich McGeorge at tight end. Bruce Taylor, number 44 on the tackle. And McGeorge trying to get the first down, but he did not. It'll be third and about a yard, maybe a yard and a half, as the Packers keep it moving here. You can see the pressure being put on Whitehurst here. He doesn't look like a rookie. Look at Klein coming in. They had a tackle end game, and he just dumps that ball off right over the middle. The throw. And George picks it off. He's a George is a good tight end. Tough guy. You know, this 49er defense came in with uh, 42 sacks, I believe, this year. And uh, they haven't got one here this afternoon. Last year, they led the NFL with 61. Not quite as effective this year. Whiter, quick pitch to Torkelson. Elia, great tackle by Bruce Elia. Diving, bootstrap tackle. And uh, he may have stopped him short of the first down. He sure did. The field goal team's coming in right now. Great play by number 55, Bruce Elia, third-year man from Ohio State. <laughs> How mad he's old school. Tell us about Bucknell, Mr. Mitchell. We don't hear too much. You and Sam Haverlack are the only two guys I know ever came out of their plate pro ball. How about Clark Hankel? Oh, that's right. Okay. For the Packers. Oh, that's right. You're right. Justin Marco will attempt the field goal try from the 21-yard line. And he oh. slips right there and misses it. And it's no good. And that turf has caused problems for both Marco and Wershing today. I'll tell you one thing. You can't get your footing in this kind of stuff. It's just soup out there. And there he goes. Whoops. Look like Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> your basic pratfall. It remains 16 to 14. America, you've been changing. Coming, going, changing, growing. The things that make up life. Why is Bank America becoming Visa? To keep up with you. You're traveling, you're moving, you're taking more from life. Today you need money that's good around the corner, all across America, and in 117 countries around the world. That's why Bank America is becoming Visa, the most widely recognized card in the world. Visa, we're keeping up with you. Introducing the new Remington XLR. The electric shaver that shaved as close as a blade. And to prove it, we're doing something spectacular. We're giving away a blade to compare it with. We guarantee the Remington XLR will shave you as close as a blade or your money back. Now that's really spectacular. The Remington XLR shaves as close as a blade or your money back. Well, we're back here with a first down for the San Francisco 49ers on the missed Charlie Brown field goal by Chester Marco. <laughs> David Beverly playing the part of Lucy there. I don't know. It was just slippery uh, turf there and a tough break for Marco. The same thing happened to working earlier in the game. This is Wilbur Jackson. Jackson picks up about five, maybe six. Comes out over the 25-yard line to the 26. It was Butler, number 77, the rookie, making the tackle, left defensive end. You know, Tom, I wanted I wanted to ask Tom Mitchell, Tim, a question. You know what? You know what really happened to the ball club this year? Last year they were eight and six. They were really a, you know, in, in preseason they were picked to really be one of the great defend. You know, right to be in contention. After this play, maybe you can sort of uh, fill us in on what you know. What's your opinion as a player of of what happened? Slot formation left for the 49ers. Jackson and Williams still the ball carry the uh, running backs, and this is Delvin Williams. Williams trying to get outside. And good defensive work. Willie Buchanan, number 28. He was forced wide by Jim Carter, number 50. We had good flow by the Packer defensive uh, uh, team and consequently had nowhere to go. We've got a 49er down on the play. Williams got maybe a half a yard or a yard was all. And it's uh, John Ayers, number 68. And he started for Steve Lawson, the normally starting left guard who was out with a knee injury. So we would uh, be down to John Miller, coming in, a first-year man from Livingstone. 
Tom Mitchell, you gonna answer that big old question of mine? It's a yeah, toughie, I know. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, gave you time to think about it. Kenny Myers uh, came from L.A. and their philosophy is run the ball, and we just don't have the personnel to, to wrap up people like we should. You mean across the offensive line? Anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> okay, third and three. This is Delvin Williams. He can run a little, and he's doing it here. Hit by Fred Carr, number 53, but he has the first down, and we're out to the 35-yard line with the San Francisco 49ers first down. Here's this play, Tom. Well, your What's tight end's you? just blocking uh, a linebacker here, and he does a good job just cutting him off from the play. Cuts back, picks his hole. Two guys uh, from pursuit, and it looks like we have a big penalty, too. Must have been a personal foul. Personal foul, number 78, defense, first down. That's Ezra Johnson, one of the two great-looking rookie defensive ends acquired by Green Bay in the draft this year. Butler the other one. They're both in the ball game. Remember that Chicago Giants game, still tied in overtime. They shut down Walter Payton completely. Bob Thomas missed an extra point that could have won it for Chicago, and he missed a field goal in overtime for 35 yards out. Swing pass. Oh, Jackson with running room and outruns his blockers and falls short of the first down. Tom Maddy, you would have well, waited there another second, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, darn right. This is where he's got the blockers out in front. You've got to give it enough time for those offensive linemen to set themselves up, pick out the men. You could grab them by the shirt tail and point them if you want to. Push them the way you want to block, but you have to wait until that blocker gets in front of you because if you outrun them, then you're on your own. Carr and McCoy made the tackle, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score. The Green Bay Packers 16, the San Francisco 49ers 14. We now pause for a word from your local station. The bunkers are all shook up when Mike and a female impersonator are attacked by a street gang on All in the Family tonight on CBS. Second and about eight yards to go for the, or second and two, pardon me, for the San Francisco 49ers as uh, play begins here in the fourth period. Jackson Williams still the ball carriers. Wide left with Washington. Delvin Williams, and Williams has the first down and then some. Over the 35 to the 34-yard line of Green Bay, Ezra Johnson made the tackle on him. And Tom and Tom, Mitchell and Maddie, we have report from the Meadowlands in the sleeting, driving <laughs> rainstorm that the Bears are on the 10-yard line, five minutes remaining in the overtime period. They're on the 10-yard line of the New York Giants, and they're still tied at nine. And when we mentioned that Thomas missed a point after missed a field goal, I guess the weather conditions there had much to do with that. We sure don't want to be uh, making that sound any, uh, any worse uh, than it should. That's Wilbur Jackson slicing back against the grain and picking up close to five yards. Johnny Gray, the safety number 24, put the hit on him. And the 49ers moving the ball. Let's call it a four-yard gain, second and six, the ball at the 30 of Green Bay. I'll tell you, if he misses a field goal from the 10-yard line, <laughs> I, I, would, I would tell him not to go back to Chicago. Well, he missed the point after. We're seeing here these field goal kickers on a greasy That's field right. having their problem. You can imagine what it must be like at the Meadowland. That's artificial uh, turf at Giant Stadium. But apparently terrible weather conditions. This is Williams. Backed up by Butler and Ezra Johnson, the two defensive ends combining on him. And he got maybe two. It'll be third down on about five. Tom Mitchell, what, you, what would they call here in terms of their frequencies on a third and about five in this situation? I'd say percentage-wise, probably a draw. But uh, they may go to tight end. 
They made the draw play for the touchdown down here to Jackson back in the second period. It was a great call. Yeah, they're very, very good uh, at the draw from <laughs> won't believe this one, but they tried a fake field goal by Chicago, which was no good, and the Giants have the ball with three minutes to go. Williams for the 49ers is short of the first down. There is a Butler on the tackle. He's having himself a whale of a game. Big number 77, 6'5", 265 pound rookie. Well, when you've had enough football today, you can change horses and get on to some real nice entertainment from Carol Burnett. Tonight at 10 o'clock, 9 Central and Mountain Time. And uh, she's got some nice people on there with her. Helen Reddy sings. Ken Berry dances. And the Carol Burnett Show once again brightens Sunday. Tonight, their new night, Sunday night at 10, 9 Central and Mountain Time on CBS. Fourth down. Let him into punt. Angling for the corner. Good, good. And it looks great. It's inside the 10 at the 9-yard line of Green Bay, so the 49ers hem in the Green Bay Packers here as we're down to 12-20 remaining in regulation time. Green Bay first down, and they lead it 16-14. to 14. This year, when you step out on the town, don't just drive. Take off in the 1978 Thunderbird with its distinctive look and size, its Thunderbird quality and comfort, and it comes at a down-to-earth price of 5808 with automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, V8, and more. Flight test the 1978 Thunderbird. When America needs a better idea, Ford puts it on wheels. Mr. Chester. Oh, hi, kids. We want a camera. It's a present for Mom. Well, how much do you have? This. Well, your mom will like a camera that's real simple. Polaroid's one step. You never focus. Just point it, press the button, and the motor hands you the picture. The SX-70 colors come up sharp and clear in minutes. Boy, Mom's going to be surprised. We'll take it. Polaroid's one step. The simplest camera ever. CBS Sports presents the Cotton Bowl, where the number one ranked Texas Longhorns with Heisman Trophy winner Earl Campbell take on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. That's the Cotton Bowl, January 2nd. Well, that could be Tom Mitchell sitting down there on that bench <laughs> thinking about how they're going to win this ball game with 12.20 left, but he's up in our broadcast booth joining Tom, Addy, and I. That was Gene Barrett, number 77, their left tackle. First down, Green Bay at their nine-yard line. They lead by two. Barty Smith is hit right at the line of scrimmage. And it was Cedric Hardman coming in from the right defensive end spot. Put the tackle on him. How's this for a statistic? Willie Harper was there, and it's uh, second and eight. Packers defense has not scored a fourth quarter touchdown. In the fourth quarter Packers at all. Packers offense. Offense. They haven't scored a fourth quarter touchdown this season. Well, I think if the defense does the job, <laughs> then they can. Uh, they, they don't have to worry about that because they're leading by two points. So let me look at my wristband. i got to figure that one out. <laughs> Yeah, offense is when they have the ball. Offense. Defense is when they're trying to stop the other I guy. You. I got you. remember that. <laughs> Straight ahead, Barty Smith behind uh, Havig and Greg Cook. <laughs> Got maybe a yard at the most as the 49ers are toughening up down here. Bill Cook, number 76, in on the front four now. Made the stop, and uh, 49ers would like to make the Packers punt here. And they, uh, if they shut them down this play, they'll get their wish. They've got Klein and Cook in on the front four along with... Ed Gallagher, number 75, and some fresh troops there doing the job for the 49ers. Lots formation left. 35, Green Bay. David Whitehurst, the rookie quarterback, gives to Torkelson. Torkelson is stopped, so the 49ers rise up here and create the punting situation for Green Bay. And it'll give them good field position, too. Bill Cook and number 75, Ed Gallagher on the tackle, fourth in the yard. And time ticking away. We're at 10.45. The 49ers with ample time, and they will have, as Tom Batty just pointed out, good field position, barring a sensational punt by David Beverly. Stan Black standing at midfield, awaiting the punt from Beverly. Good rush on him. Oh, good, good punt. Jim. Excellent punt. Back to the 35, to the 31. Black trying to get upfield, got nowhere to go. And good field position was 
knocked out of there by a sensational punt from David Beverly. A 50-yard punt by Beverly, and so the 49ers will have to start from their own 35. Burt asks and made the tackle along with Blaine Smith. Honey, is this homeowner's insurance high? I don't know. Think it's too much? How would I know? Compare with Allstate. Compare? Compare? Bring in your policy and compare rates. If you have a good deal, we'll tell you. But for many, chances are we've got a better deal. We've got a better deal. Allstate might save you some money, but you'll never know until you bring in your policy and compare. Oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> when you want to save on homeowner's insurance, yeah. <laughs> Allstate wants to help. That's a promise from us, the good hands people. Radio Shack has a great Space Age gift for kids at a down-to-earth price. The original Space Patrol walkie-talkie. Just $14.95 a pair, and they really work. Crystal-controlled and battery-operated, just like Dad's portable CD. And they're built in Radio Shack's own electronics factory. So this Christmas, thrill your kids with the $14.95 a pair Space Patrol. Only at Radio Shack. A Tandy company. We're back here at County Stadium in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and reminding you that our NFL playoff doubleheader comes up on Monday, December 26th from Dallas and Los Angeles. Our pregame show, the NFL Today at 1.30 Eastern Time. The game from Dallas at 2, the game from Los Angeles at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Wilbur Jackson, he's got a 29-yard touchdown run to his credit today. He picks up about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. He stopped there by Johnson, number 78. And uh, we'll give him two yards and call it second and eight. Houston leading Cincinnati 21 to 16 now as the Bengals hanging in there, but they must be running out of time. They've got to be running out of time. They have to win to make the playoffs. Plunkett and his receiver, Jackson, slipped. And the ball sailed harmlessly over his head. He was covered by Jim Carter. Fred Carr was there. And it goes incomplete. Third down. And eight to go. If the Bears, if you're wondering about the tie, if they finish in a tie against the New York Giants today, they will be out. Washington will have a better record and will make it as a wild card. And Cincinnati has been eliminated. That score is final. Houston defeating the Bengals. So Cincinnati is out. I'm going to double check that to make sure. <laughs> Better. Third down and eight. Lunkin. Complete. Paul Seal has the first down tackled by Jim Carter. Just got a first down. Good throw by Plunky. Stepped right up inside the pocket in there and dropped it out to Seal coming across. Tom, that was a crossover pattern by, or just a square out pattern by the it's tight end? It's just a crossover. The linebacker drops deep enough, deep enough, and tight end crosses over into his zone. It's good for, you know, five, six, seven yards. We have confirmed that uh, with Cincinnati's loss, they are out. Pittsburgh is the champion in the central division of the AFC, no matter whether they uh, win or lose in their game later today. So the Steelers, who are really coming on, will be in the playoffs. Williams on first down slips. Center part of that field from the between the 40s and particularly in the middle of the field, very greasy. Jackson had a great block leading up to the inside for him. Johnson and Carter covered him, and he lost a yard. Second and 11 for San Francisco. Both these backs block well for each other. They're both good blockers. Well, they're, you know, they, they had over 2,000 in offense last year, Tom. They had a great running game, and they attributed that a lot to the, the offensive line, and they always considered you a great line, uh, you know, blocker on the line of scrimmage in the pass game, on the, in the running game. Out of the backfield, Elvin Williams, Carr in pursuit, Carr has him. He gained maybe six on the play, maybe seven when they mark the ball, and it'll be third down. We'll call it three and a half to go. You can see something that's not used very often anymore unless you have an opportunity to do it, and it's called the old stiff arm. Here he comes right here, give him the old stiff arm. Chicago has defeated the New York Giants. A 27-yard field goal with four seconds remaining in the overtime. So the Bears are in in what has to be one of the wildest football games played in recent times. 
Chicago with several chances to win it finally did with four seconds left. Williams hit right at the line of scrimmage. Number 24 for the 49ers stopped by Clarence Williams. Number 83, they are no relation, and it is fourth down. The Chicago Bears on a field goal by Bob Thomas with four seconds remaining at the feet of the New York Giants. They are in the playoffs as the wild card team. Washington is out. Minnesota with their win last night is in. And so it is all settled in the National Football Conference. Lots of movement along that line, but the ball hasn't moved. Whittem will punt. Good kick by Whittem. Oh, my goodness. So Whittem comes right and back at Beverly. Dropped. Looks where oh. it stopped. Do you believe that on the one-yard no, line? It, 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 and it's covered there. Oh, the they plane. said it was in the end zone and bounced out. It was right on the line. That's all it has to be. Woo. And the officials were right on the case. <laughs> and Whittem nearly came up with one of the great punts you'll ever see. But it's not bad anyway. It's a touchback. First down, Green Bay at the 20. 6.47 remaining to play in regulation time. Wherever you may roam, you'll find our name is known. You can trust a Delco. Thanks, Delco. Delco great on battery. When things are getting thick and you want to start real quick, you can trust a Delco. Thanks, Delco. Delco great on battery. They've got the stuff. When the start is tough, you can trust a Delco. What's the hurry? Oh, going to rent a car. Oh, well, you don't have to run. <laughs> Gotta run. Oh, no, if you had an Avis Wizard number, you could walk. <laughs> yeah, walk. Call toll-free and let our wizard system do the running. Just show a major credit card, license, sign, and get the car. I don't have to run through airports? Not with Avis. I can walk through airports. We try hard with Avis. Avis, we don't know another way. I'm walking through airports. Well, footballs have pointed ends, and they give you funny <laughs> bounces, Tom Matty. Watch this. It looks like my wedge shot on a, a short par three. Look at the backspin on that ball. Hits right on the line and backs back out. A 48-yard punt by Whittem following Beverly's 50-yard punt, so they were in their own personal duel. Both big punts in this game. Slot formation right, flags are down. Torkelson, the ball carrier, behind left guard Dennis Havig and center Larry McCarron, and did not get much at all. Let's see what the infraction is. It is 16 to 14. Tim Ryan with Tom Maddy, and we have Tom Mitchell, the 49er tight end, visiting in the booth with us as he is out with a knee injury, and he's looking at his quarterback on the monitor with us, Jim Pluckett. You know, talking about wedge shots right in there, it's interesting what a lot of the ball players do in the offseason. Uh, Offside, number 82, defense, first down. And Tom Mitchell, you know, lives back in Baltimore with me, Tim, and he has... Why don't you tell me what you got back there? I've got a golf complex, <laughs> so I keep can keep ahead of the game. Yeah, he's got about a two handicap. <laughs> <laughs> Offside against Tony Klein, first and five for the Green Bay Packers. They lead by two. Marty Smith met right at the line of scrimmage. This 49er defensive front with some new troops in it has played a lot stronger here, Tom Mitchell. Uh, the last series of plays, they stopped him. They brought in Klein, Bill Cook, and Ed Gallagher. Well, Tony Klein played with the Raiders, too. And he's a, a great offensive or a defensive end, and he's playing behind Tommy Hart, but he should be playing somewhere. And Ed Gallagher's uh, better against the run than Jimmy Webb is. And they've got Bill Cook, number 75, in there, and Hartman, the only remaining starter on the front four. They've been doing the job. It is second and four for the pack in the I formation. Markelson slicing through is stopped short of the first down unless they give him a good mark. And uh, they may. <laughs> he's, he's, he's that guy. No, no, they pulled it back. Yeah, right. He could call it. No, they, they did pull it back a little uh, from where he had uh, planted it. Uh, here he is again. This this reminds me of those radio series. We'll call him the crawler here. Watch it. <laughs> Good block by Barty Smith. Fills a hole right there. You can see Klein coming across. Hardman, number 86, got him around the ankles. And it's short of the first down. Third and about a half a yard. much time to get it off. They're running out on that uh, three seconds on the clock. They just got it off in time. Flag yeah. down. San Francisco and he has stopped outside. short. He was stopped short, so if the 49ers are offside, that's going to be a very disappointing penalty. 
Tony Klein was there. Sparkleson, the ball carrier, trying for the first down, and they're going to get it on the offside. Well, you know, here, here, Tim, here's a place where you know you got a young rookie quarterback Outside, in there. Number 52, defense, first down. Skip you Vanderbunt. You can't put the pressure on the kid like this where he has to hurry up on those signals. you got to get the plays in. Bart's got to get him in there quicker so this kid has more time to be able to set up and get everything organized. Now they called a timeout earlier where it was a right. situation he just had to go and check on the play and it cost him a timeout. Hold him in the slot right. First down, passing play. Screen to Torkelson. Good block. Torkelson, first down after the 50. And the Packers on the move again. Well executed play by Green Bay. 15 yard gain and a first down. This is a great shot of a young quarterback here looking to the right hand side. Marty Smith going to that side, sets up, throws back to the left side. It's a good call. Watch the block up in the corner up there. Turkelson picks, his, picks a hole, gets a first down. And a few guys wipe him out, too, I'll tell you. Well executed by the Green Bay Packers. The ball spotted at the 49 of Green Bay. It is first down. 4.38 remaining in regulation time. Oh! Jim Culbreth, number 31, the rookie from Oklahoma, gets about six yards. Bashing straight ahead the safety Stan Black on the tackle. Whitehurst has passed for 197 <laughs> yards to the 16 out of 21. That's what got, an afternoon. He's got to get a game ball if they win this game today because he's, he's done a great job out there for a young kid. You know, and I had a chance to talk with him a little bit, Tim. He's a kind of a boy that you'd like to have playing for you. He's a, you know, he, he wants to learn. He's picked up the offense. Bart Starr has nothing but praise for the young kids. It should be a real battle next year with Dickey and this young quarterback, Mr. Whitehurst. Colbert, straight ahead, is stopped by number 53. And he's close to the first Hart. down. Close to the first down. <laughs> Darkelson back in. They have two uh, fullbacks in there. Colbert and Smith run on the same spot. Henry Winkler meets William Shakespeare later today on CBS. The famous Fonz in a different role as he hobnobs with the Bard of Avon. And Henry uh, Winkler you know, meets Henry, William Shakespeare. The good old Fonz is, you know, he's a heck of an actor. In the movie that he just did, he's done a great job in that. And this, and I, you know, I've heard him on a couple of talk shows do a little bit of the Shakespeare yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's a Shakespeare and, buff. And yeah. he is, and he's good. First down. <laughs> <laughs> First down for the Green Bay Packers. Mr. Rowe just asked me if I played King Lear in high school. Falstaff, maybe. Not, yeah. Not likely Lear. Falstaff Beer. <laughs> now, that's not, a, that's not a commercial. That's no. a Shakespearean character. <laughs> First down at the 41-yard line. The Packers keep it moving, and they're using up the clock very well. Markelson, big hole. Out the left side, and suddenly the Packers now picking on the new front of the 49ers with a sound running game and time ticking along to 309, a gain of seven, second and three, inside the 35 to the 34. Webb comes back in, number 74, left tackle. Out goes Cook, number 76. Bart Starr likes the trend here. His team protecting a two-point lead and grinding it out. Markelson and Barty set the running back. Willard Harrell went out of the game early with an injury. Sparkleson's played most of the way since then. And Barty Smith breaks tackle. He got through Tommy Hart. And the safety stand black and got the first down. So that was 25. A, Tim, that was a big first down. These guys got the ball rolling. He did just a slam play to the inside. He picked this hole, cut it back out. Barty Smith having a great day. He's had a great year. He's a real competitor. Ed Bradley made the tackle. He's in for Bruce Gelia at middle linebacker. Bradley, number 54, a nine-yard gain for Barty Smith, who came into the game with 521 yards rushing. And what's he got here today? He's got another 33. Another 33. Barty Smith, 63 yards on pass receptions. He's caught five of those today. And where's that timeout going? Two minutes. Yeah, it's going to Green Bay. Uh, two minutes. That's why the clock was ticking away, and we have two minutes remaining to play. And so, at the two-minute warning, Green Bay leads San Francisco 16 to 14. America's best-selling new car in history, the new Ford Fairmont. 
What's behind Fairmont's success? Fairmont's roominess. More room for the money than any other car. Fairmont's mileage. Highest EPA mileage rating of any midsize car. Fairmont's price. Lowest sticker price of any midsize car. Test drive America's best-selling new car ever at your Ford dealer, where the better ideas keep coming. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Hey, where you been? Well, it wasn't easy getting tickets for this game. Hey, yeah, Bob. Eddie, I know exactly what I want. I want the biggest steak you've got in a bottle of Lowen Brown. Steak and Lowen Brown. Dolan, you're a genius. When you want the taste of a truly great beer, tonight, let it be low and brow. Here's to the chef. <laughs> Here's to the bartender. <laughs> We have a first down Green Bay at the 25-yard line of San Francisco and the Packers leading by two. These are the people who have brought all of this entertainment and excitement to you. you got to read quickly to catch them all. But <laughs> Mom and Dad at home will pick out those names, you can be sure. Uh, Mr. Rowe and Mr. Silman, two great ones. I'll tell you, our camera coverage today and everything has been just great up here as far as I'm concerned. And we've had the pleasure of, of talking with Mr. Mitchell back here, and he just has informed me. In a situation like this, start watching for the blitz because they've got to stop this run game. They're going to fill those linebackers to the inside, and they're going to come after them right now. We have Tom Mitchell, the tight end of the San Francisco 49ers, in our broadcast booth as he is uh, working with an injured knee and so is getting to stand on it here behind us. <laughs> We're really helping his rehabilitation. Well, I might have. <laughs> Jim Culbreth is in with Torkelson. Torkelson straight ahead behind Cobra. The flag is down, and the 49ers make the means... stop on Torkelson uh, right at about a yard past Holding. the line of scrimmage. Holding. It was Hartman, 86 on the tackle. Holding against Green Bay, the preliminary signal. We used up five seconds on that play. Referee uh, Fred Wyant calls it against Larry McCarron, the center. First holding call all day, and uh, our spotter Bob Schultz points that out, and that is rare, Bob. That's that's worth pointing out. If there was anything more boring in the National Football League this season, it was holding penalties. I mean, every week you had a bunch of them, and uh, to get through one with uh, one game with only one holding call is really exceptional. That's Cobra. And he's hit by Willie Harper and Jimmy Webb right at the line of scrimmage with a little extra Merry Christmas from Cedric Hartman, which uh, the Packers did not take kindly to. Lost maybe a half a yard. Certainly didn't gain anything. It'll be second and 20. Second down, 20 to go. Two timeouts remaining for the San Francisco 49ers as they take one here. And uh, they want to get that uh, ball back, 150 remaining on the clock. And the uh, Packers are second and long, protecting a two-point lead. And Tom Mitchell has uh, finally been given a chair to sit on in our rather cramped quarters here. And uh, Tom Maddy's gone down to the playing surface if we have time he'll be talking to one of the players following our telecast today and uh, Tom Mitchell uh, you've been in some of these situations a team in a losing season here you are two points down 150 to play what's the mood of that team on the field right now well they're frustrated I think I think Cedric uh, said it best with a little shove right and, a little extra uh, shot yeah that that doesn't help second and 20 for the Green Bay Packers they're trying to get to four and ten on the season San Francisco looking for their sixth victory, but they're going to have to do it the hard way now. They've got to get the ball. 150 remaining. Culbreth and Torkelson, the running backs, and they both stay in to protect Whitehurst, who's going sideline, intended for Odom complete. Steve Odom with coverage by Eddie Lewis. And a good catch by Odom and a good throw by Whitehurst. He kept that ball low with uh, Lewis providing good coverage, a 23-yard gain. Tom Mitchell, good play here. Not for your side, however. Well, it's a good throw, good catch. Right there, right on the mound. We've got some guys hurting. Of course, Lewis is in there for Tony Leonard. 
Ralph McGill is out. Uh, they've had to miss him in the secondary today. Whitehurst has had an outstanding afternoon, but that's certainly been a factor. Well, he's playing well. He's throwing the ball real well. When you have McGill and Leonard out of there, you're going to make a few more completions, I would think. So it is first down, 142 remaining. Whitehurst, 17 of 22. What an afternoon for that young man. Straight ahead is Colbreth inside the 10. Packers continue to roll on. Willie Harper, number 59, put the stop on him. And Culbreth, the Oklahoma rookie, gets about five. See where they spot the ball. It's going to be at about the seven-yard line of San Francisco. And with another timeout called 136 to play. Want to cut your fuel bills? Whether your house is new or old, put insulation everywhere. It can save you money. Your attic. You need a 6 to 12 inch blanket of pink Owens Corning fiberglass. Walls, full insulation. Unheated crawl space, insulate below the floor. Live where it's cold, insulate basement walls. See your Owens Corning fiberglass supplier to learn all about insulation. Insulation is cheaper than oil. Attention shoppers. <laughs> The new Atari cartridge game is in. Excuse me. Uh-oh. George again. Atari's Air C Battle. It comes with 27 games, but that's just for starters. You can get nine cartridges, 187 games. Ooh, blackjack. Oh. I'd like an Atari. Sorry. Only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system by Atari. More games, more fun. David Whitehurst brings out the Packers. They can sew it up if they can get in the end zone. Second and about five and a half to go. Culbreth and Torkelson still the running backs. Green Bay leads it by two. Torkelson hit behind the line of scrimmage. 49ers inspired defense come sailing in there. Phillips on a safety blitz, number 32. Tommy Hart, number 53, meeting him behind the line, and he lost a yard. It'll be third and six. For Green Bay, we're down to 132. The 49ers with one timeout remaining. David Whitehurst, 219 yards passing today, his previous high since taking over for the injured Lynn Dickey, 140 yards. And has not had a pass intercepted today, the first time he has not been intercepted. Jim Plunkett, on the other hand, having a good afternoon, 16 for 26, 176 yards. However, three interceptions, two of them cost 10 points. San Francisco has taken this time out. It is the final one. And so we're down to 132. Next Saturday on CBS at 4.30 Eastern Time, the CBS Sports Spectacular presents highlights of the World Professional Skateboard Speed Championships with comp uh, competitors racing in the giant slalom, the standing board, and the skate car categories. Also last year's European Figure Skating Championships from Helsinki, Finland, with top Olympians and emerging young stars competing next Saturday at 4.30 Eastern on the CBS Sports Spectacular. That skateboarding championship will be held at Derby Down in Akron, Ohio, where they used to have the soapbox uh, derby races using that same hill. Should be exciting. And the beautiful figure skater, some of the best in the world, competing in last year's European Championship. Third down, Green Bay. They need nearly six for a first down. Option, Whiters pitching, Cobra. Away from one man, but short of the first down. Harper turned him in. Harper, a little disgusted, he didn't tackle him, but he did the job. He turned him in, and it was Stan Black on the tackle. And Tom Mitchell, uh, you've got to be impressed with the way your guys are fighting here. They're not about to surrender. Well, uh, there's only a minute left. Uh, they're just fighting for their lives, really. Fourth so down. They've got to go for it, use up the thing. They're under a minute here, and you know the Packers are going to use up as much as they can here. We've got 12 seconds on the huddle clock. We'll take the lead again. Down to 46 on the counter. This is always a thrilling moment in football, isn't it? You just sit and watch the clock. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to go for it. Delay of game called against the Packers. And uh, on comes the field goal unit, Chester Marco. Marco has... Offense! Fourth down! Marco has already kicked one today. And he missed on a, a second attempt from 31 yards out when he slipped on the greasy turf. 
Well, he's in a, it looks like a slippery area out there right now. Yeah, that's where Wershing fell down attempting his yeah, field goal. Exactly. Tim Ryan and Tom Mitchell up in the booth. The injured 49er tight end down on the sidelines is Tom Matty. A 28-yard try by Marco keeps his footing and misses wide to the left. You watch and Skip Vanderbilt on this play. He's jumping up and down trying to distract him. Well, he may, have, a replay. may have done the job. Skip Vanderbilt perhaps distracting Marco. 37 seconds remaining. And uh, the 49ers will have first down. They trail by two points, and Plunkett will have to come up with a couple of miracles here. But uh, we, we heard about some miracles up in the Meadowlands. <laughs> Anything can happen. The Chicago, if you did not hear it, defeated the New York Giants in overtime. A Bob Thomas field goal, four seconds remaining in the overtime. Thomas having missed a point after and a field goal, both of which would have won the game earlier for Chicago. First down, 49ers at their own 20-yard line. Wide left is Washington. Good rush on Plunkett. He eludes it. Now has to dump it out there under pressure. Well done. Well done. And uh, he's going to be called holding for... Time. Perhaps for holding. He also could have been called for intentionally grounding. Let's see what they call here. That's it. Intentionally grounding. There wasn't any doubt about that in my mind. Jim just unloaded there with nobody around. I've seen worse calls. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree with you, Tom. 32 seconds on the clock. Good rush by the Packers. And, of course, the 49ers, Tom, they had to get everybody out into the pattern, so he didn't have all of the full blocking compliment. Well, hey. he, he saved one back for himself. Hey, Timmy. Who's that? that oh, this is Mr. Matty hey. down on the field. I just wanted to say I'm ready, <laughs> hooked up, and willing to go, baby. We're we'll having a little fun down here. You can see the intentional grounding down here. Jim didn't have anybody to throw through, and he was trying to get it so they wouldn't be backed in the corner that much. So this should be a big play right now, and I think with this defensive secondary that the Green Bay Packers have, has got to come up with a big play. They've got an opportunity to get the interception. 32 seconds on the clock. Second and long. Plunkett standing on the end zone, into the end zone, and throws it out. They'll get another penalty. That saves two points, though. And will they award the safety in this situation? Looks like it. In the You'll see Plunkett, he runs back in there himself. Now, if he was pushed back, it would not be a safety, but he ran into the end zone, now intentionally grounds the ball. That was signaled. We had intentional grounding, number 16 offense, third down. Well, he saved the safety. That's what I thought happened. He threw points. that ball out. That was a smart play by Plunkett. It's all desperation now, of course, but by throwing it out, there is no safety because he was not tackled in possession of the ball. And so uh, he takes the penalty, which is a smart thing to do. He's third down on his five. 25 yards to go. 26 seconds left on the clock. Hooked it in the end zone. Now just flips it out. Running hard is Paul Hofer, number 36, out over the 10-yard line. 15 seconds. Flag down again. I think we have roughing the passer down here on the field. Mr. Roller got a little excited in the game. Got the roughing the passer. That's the initial signal by the official right here. That's going to cost him. That gives the opportunity for San Francisco to come up with a big play. That gives him the automatic first down, Tim. Well, they got 15 seconds left, Tom Matty and Tom Mitchell. Uh, they still got an awful long way to go, but you got to admire Jim Plunkett. He's doing everything possible to try and come up with a winning point. Number 74, defense, first down. Dave Roller is the culprit, first down. The ball comes all the way out to the 27-yard line. And so from the end zone, where he nearly gave up the safety, Plunkett has got the 49ers out at their own 27. 15 this, seconds remaining. This is where you hate to be an offensive lineman. Plunkett under pressure. Downfield, Washington complete to the 47-yard line. Gets up quickly, five seconds left. Four seconds, the Packers slowly coming back will not make it, and they do not. It's all over. The 49ers could not get another playoff. But boy, I tell you, they did not go down easily as Jim Plunkett must be applauded for that uh, terrific effort to get his team literally out of his end zone and into Packer territory. 
but time runs out, and so the Green Bay Packers have won their fourth game against 10 defeats. The 49ers finished five and nine on the season, but they provided plenty of entertainment and will return to County Stadium in just a moment. From County Stadium in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is Tim Ryan saying so long for Tom Matty and Tom Mitchell, the injured 49er star, and we're gonna return you now to Brent Musburger at CBS Control in New York. From tomorrow on CBS, the NFC playoff picture is this. At 2 o'clock Eastern time, the Chicago Bears will open up in Dallas. Then at 6 o'clock Eastern time, or three out on the West Coast, it will be the Los Angeles Rams hosting the Minnesota Vikings. And because Cincinnati lost today, it means that Pittsburgh goes to the playoffs in the AFC. They will be in Denver. Oakland, meanwhile, will be in Baltimore.